Right, here we go. I think we've got this up and running. I think it's going to work. Guys, just bear with me. This is a brand new show and it's called Conversations After Dark. We are going to be talking the things that normally normal people would, would be talking, but hello, hello, hello. Here we go. Here we go. We are up and running. We have our Zoom room. Guys, are you ready to go in? You should be here. Oh, somebody's ringing. Let me let you in. Okay, guys, let's do this. So welcome, guys. Welcome. I want to welcome you guys. Thank you for joining me tonight. Uh, it has been... Uh, an interesting start <laughs> let's put it that way let's put it that way so guys i want to welcome you welcome 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 to conversations after dark this is the show i think we've got one more to come this is the show where we talk about the things that people don't want to talk about ordinarily so guys whilst you're coming in to facebook i just want to welcome everybody who's logging in who's joining us tonight for this conversation it's the first time so um we are going to hang on let me just make sure that i can see this online and we're coming through nicely Are we coming through nicely, guys? Can we hear? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? If you, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, those of you who are on the, um, the Zoom room, if you could just wave so that I know that you can hear me, fantastic. And we are going in here. There we go, right, we are live, we are direct. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for turning up. So tonight, guys, we are going to be talking. We're going to be talking about relationships as we had started to do so last week. I had some really good feedback last week. For those of you who did not um, make the show last week, we had an incredible show last week. We talked about lots of different things in regards to um, relationships. So tonight we are going to carry on in true 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 fashion and we're gonna get into the uh conversation let us not get this thing mistaken we've got lots to talk about and um i've had some people contact me in regards to um their relationships <clears throat> married and single people who really want to get involved um in in the conversation but are quite shy so, you know, I've said that you can send in your uh, questions, you can come into the Zoom room if you want to talk directly to our panel members. And um, I'm still waiting for, we've got one more panel member to turn up, but we are going to carry on with the show and we're just going to deep dive into some talking. I just want to make sure that we're coming across well. Yep. Yeah. Turn up. We are going to carry yeah, on. okay. That's coming through lovely. Um, yeah, so apologies for what happened before. So, guys, let me just tell you a little bit about after dark. Now, we um we now we are in lockdown, and many singles are uh, making contacts with online dating sites. Some are abiding by the government rules and some are not as we know and i'm just going to keep it plain i'm just going to be honest and tell you so our panel we have a mixed panel we have singles and we have married people on our panel that's going to give us some tools tips and advice as to how to move forward right so i know that hi grace i think grace is watching tonight and diane is watching tonight so i want to welcome you to the show those of you who are on the ww dot welcome 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 this is the first show of this kind and we're going to be doing this while we are in lockdown uh we are making the most of the time that we have so as I was saying, um, most single people are 
living by the sanctions that the government has set for us, which means that we're to stay in, <coughs> we're not to really mingle. Um, but, you know, now we are looking at what tools, what tips, what strategies we can use to actually get into relationships. Um, and it has, this is a minefield and it can feel overwhelming sometimes. Um, so we have this live panel for you to take advantage of, um, to be discussing dating etiquette. Yes, it's a big word for us, etiquette. So if you are already in a relationship, well, how does this apply to you? Well, if you are already in a relationship, this is how this applies to you. Many married people have date nights or people who are in long-term relationships do date nights. Um, some, some have children, some don't. So now we're in a, in a position where we're with each other all the time. If you are not one of the um, care workers, you are practically in your home with your partner 24 seven. And sometimes that can be a bit challenging to be in the same space when you're used to going to work, they're used to going to work, doing what they're doing, maybe coming home. Sometimes couples don't even live together like that. They live together, but one works away, comes home. So we've got all different kinds of scenarios, right? So if you are a married person, this would this would be for you if you were like trying to work out how do I navigate this relationship in this situation? How can I keep the spark alive in this situation? Just because you're married doesn't mean to say that you can't have fun. Just because you're married, it doesn't mean to say that, you know, you, you don't have no spark, or you don't have no life and you don't have a little something, something going on and have a good time with your partner. So this is for those who are single and also can be for those who are married. So this show is raw, it's real, and it's for those who generally want to find a partner and are willing to work to make it happen. So I'm going to just introduce our panel before we get into it. Um, hi, um, I know that we've got some people here on Facebook as well. So I'm going to introduce our panel. We have uh, in our left, we have Lorraine. Let me just unmute you. Or you can unmute yourself if you like. There we go. Hi, Lorraine, how are you doing? Hi. Hi, Lorraine, how are you keeping? I'm good. I'm good. Um, yeah, just busy earlier. But um, I'm good. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Thank you for joining us tonight. We shall come back to you shortly. Hi, and I'm going to say hello to Ruth. Hi, Ruth. You're oh, unmuted. God. Am I unmuted? Yeah, you are. Hey, hey, everyone. Hi, good evening. Lovely to be here. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And we have our star. There we go. We have. Go on, Patrick. I think we're unmuting each other at the same time. We have Patrick. Yes. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Good good evening. evening. We're going to have a good time tonight. <laughs> yes, we are. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So, guys. Right. So, what we're going to be talking about tonight, because I set a task last week, and I know that Ruth has done some of the tasks. Um, as our panel, what I want to know is any of those who are on the Facebook, did any of you manage to do the task? Did you manage to do the task? If not, don't worry. Um, what have I done? <laughs> oh, gosh. Hold on. If you have, don't worry. If you haven't, don't worry. There we go. Okay, so what have we got on the feed? Who's talking? Right. Okay. So, guys, I have a look. I have, my friend is here. He's he. Oh, should I say he? He is my coach because he's coaching me through all of this equipment stuff, and um, he's just telling me to put my headphones on. So that is what I'm going to do. I've got my headphones nearby, and I'm going to put these on to make this work. Right, so Carol's asking what the task was. The task last week was for you to join, was for you to join a dating site 
um, and start to engage in conversation with one to three um, people and just to get into conversation, see what it's like, feel it, know it, get to know the person and, and, and just, just to see, that was it. We just wanted you to do that. I know that Ruth has uh, done it. Um, Diane is saying, it's weird being together all the time at the moment. Okay, lovely. Thank you so much for your comment. Right, good to see. You. Right, so guys, okay, so I'm going to bring in Ruth at the at the moment because I I guess that at the Lorraine hasn't done the task. Right, she hasn't done it. Okay, that's fine. Um, I've done it, and Ruth's done it. I know Patrick. Patrick is from the married side. I don't know where the other two. Um, Kellyon is our single guy. He's not here yet, um, but I'm sure that he will jump on when he gets the chance. So Ruth, I'm going to come in. I wanted to play Ruth put a video together, and um, I wanted to put that on, but I'm a little, <laughs> a little bit nervous about putting that on. Let me see if we can share this screen, guys. Bear with me. It's all good. Those of you on the www. You can join us on Facebook if you um, if you want to come on to Facebook at Yvonne Michelle and that's Michelle with one L. Um, here we go. Let's see if I can get this up for you. I did have it up earlier. But I don't think maybe I'll give it a try a little bit later, but let's crack on with the show. So I'm going to bring Ruth in and Ruth is going to tell us her experience of dating online. Guys, listen, because we're going to come back to those who are married, be with someone at the same time. We're going to start talking. We've got we've got Dr. Chesney on the, on the feed as well. Um, and uh, Dr. Shesney is a psychiatrist, doctor psychiatrist, and so I'm sure she will have something to say as well on here. So Ruth, how are you doing, darling? I'm good. I'm really well, thanks. Good, it was good, very good. interesting this week. I decided to, to engage more, you know, as mm -hmm. the task was set and started having conversations, but I had to go through a lot of uh, profiles, a lot as my evidence that I submitted will show you. And yeah. um, there were some people that I matched with, there were some people that I had missed who matched with me, but I clearly didn't match with them. And if you match with someone, you can have a conversation. So it was good. Um, I was talking to my friends about it because, you know, if you ask me a question, I will give you a response. So first off, um, one of the guys, you know, we were having a good conversation. He was asking me questions. I was responding. And then by, we were chatting for about an hour. And then after, I was like, yeah, I've got to go, you know, cook food, do what I need to do. But as I went, as I logged off, you know, you can see the notifications. And he'd asked me for my number. And I was just like, well, no, we've only been chatting for an hour. And um, and then I got another message from him saying, oh, I don't come on here often, this, that, the other. Mm -hmm. it's, but that was last week. I still haven't given my number because, like, it's kind of like the conversation now is, hey, how are you doing? Just, just you know, not, in, not asking me no real, real questions. And then um, I've been asked things like, oh, what are you looking for in a man? What are you looking for look-wise? And this, that, the other. So I'm giving my response. And it was like um the characteristics caring kind just just being frank and honest and then one of my good friends she was like saying you know what Ruth men are black and white whereas women are gray and sometimes you know you can't give them all that information but I'm like if you ask me something I'm gonna give you the answers and so the response I got was oh you're looking for really good traits in a yes. person well mm -hmm. yeah this is what I'm here for then I had a conversation with another guy now his tip was really more on a sex thing but I thought it was a dating site so I said to him isn't this a dating site and he was like well it's a bit of both and I says really because I was under the impression that it was a dating site so this guy's chatting about all his fetishes and all this kind of stuff 
Uh-huh. And I'm just like, oh, I'm I'm certainly not the one for you, right? <laughs> on, on those levels. <laughs> um, so I was transparent with him. Yeah. And then he was like, oh, there's a there will be a conflict there. I said, I'm not even here for that. Oh, once this is over, once this thing is over, I would really like to meet you. And I was like, no, nah, because I'm really looking to date someone and right. get to know someone on a on a level. And I think my experience this week is that they're not interested in that. They don't even want to talk. If they've given you an answer, it's just like one word or two sentences at most. Mm-hmm. And and those are with people that you match with. So every day you kind of get. I think you get four opportunities and in each opportunity there's about 10 pictures so that's like 40 pictures a day and it is pretty kind of superficial because you've got to be going on looks so if right see, and and the thing is there's other information like their height their income level their interests and if they want kids or not if someone wants children I just don't even bother I have probably said no to a lot out of the ones that I've actually engaged with. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not laughing at you. It's just, not it's just how you put it, Ruth. And it's so frank. It's so out there. It's like, just, the, the, th- the thing is that we, we get to this place. I don't know if it's an age thing. Guys who are on the feed, you can let me know if you agree. Yeah. Um. So, so <laughs> I don't know if it's an age thing, but when do you get to a certain place in your life I think you, as women I, I can only talk for women and we'll we'll have um, Patrick will come in soon but um as a woman it's like I'm, I'm very clear about what I want in a man or in a partner right so when I'm on from my experience I can say that my experience has been similar to yours online to the point where I just can't even be bothered it is such a task such a chore for me to go online I don't know if anybody's had a good experience of online dating and oh, we've got somebody coming not ringing a bell um I don't know what your experience of online dating has been if you've had a good one please we'd love you to share it with us um we'd love for you to share uh, your experiences of um those meetings with the prospective person online. I'm going to say good evening to Kelly on. He's here. Hi, Kelly on. How are you doing? Thank you for joining us this evening. So, yeah, my anyway. So let's stick 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 with yours in terms of. Oh, can I add one more thing? Yes, you can. There was also another guy I was chatting to from the USA. He was asking me about long distance relationship, which I clearly said I'm not into that. I did it years ago, long time ago. And I said, and I'm still friends with the guy that I was chatting with, but he got married to somebody else. So he was like saying, so what you're telling me is when I've clearly said I'm not into it. I said, I I don't mind having a friendship, like a long distance friendship, but I'm not going to get into a long distance relationship because one, it can be costly. Who's coming to and fro? Can't be dealing with that. That's It might work for other people, people who are in the Navy, the Army and all these kind of long distance jobs where they're working away for months on end. But for me, I said to him, I prefer to be with someone in the country, in the same country as I am. So at least then I can travel within the country, um, you know, to to see. I I don't want to be getting on no plane or waiting at the airport or any of those things. That's... The, the, that was my last part but I, it was fun you know I laughed good. a lot good <laughs> so the experience of of actually putting yourself out there and being in a vulnerable space because it is a vulnerable space mm-hmm. um was was an all right experience for you say yeah good 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 okay so I'm gonna come to I'm gonna come to Kelly on I'm going to ask Kelly on. Uh, hold on. Hi, Kelly on. How are you doing? Hey, you guys good? You guys all right? Yeah, I'm good. Kelly on, did you manage to do any of the tasks? Did you remember to do the task? What was the challenge again? I'll be honest with you. It's been... 
<laughs> the challenge, Kellyon, was to just go on a dating site and just talk to a few people, one to three people. Just oh, yeah, yeah, see... yeah. I, I, I do that anyway. So Okay. So how are you how did you get on this week in particular? As I said last week as well, but let's talk about this week in particular. Uh, there's a lot of um, bored people out there, uh, both male and females. But uh, look, the women I'm talking to, they they're bored, and they and but I, I'm some of them are kind of being a bit a bit particular though. It's like you know, um, let me give an example. I don't know if I can, but it's it's almost like they're being a bit picky who they want to talk to as well. I, I, I've been having that this week, um, but they do want to talk. Right. And do you think that they're being more picky because they are planning for when we come out of lockdown and they want something that's real for them? It's a possibility. It's a possibility. I mean, I had had one lady. Let me see if I can try to remember what, what happened with her. It was, uh, yeah, she started asking me some questions that was already on my profile. And I was like, well, um, so I'm a bit funny like that. You know, I, I as I said to you last week, I read your profile. Mm -hmm. So when it's like, you know, children, like it looks like children question mark, which is just one word, children. Well, yeah, on my profile it says I've got children, yeah. Smoking. Um do I smoke? I will just one question, smoke. Uh, my profile says I don't smoke. And then it's like, okay, um, thank you. I just blocked her because <laughs> I just thought, what silliness is this? So it, mm -hmm. it, it seems just that I think I think for her, it's most probably she wanted somebody that didn't have children. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so that would be her being 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 picky, and I just thought I'm, I'm, I haven't got time for this, so I just got rid of her. Right. So, so again, so do do you think that the, the the fact that you'll say you you know you've made up your mind you don't have time for her is because you're of a certain age, or do you think if you were a little bit younger, you would be a little bit more pliable, maybe, and give her the benefit of the doubt? Do you think the the app that I'm on. Mm -hmm. It's actually very good because um, um, well, obviously once you answer a few questions of uh, who you'd like to speak to, the, the age ranges I speak to, I tend to speak to is about 30 to about 45 years of age. Um, I'm 43. So um, the women that are coming on are generally, you know, good calibre. You just get a few that, that they just are full of themselves, <laughs> obviously. Yeah. Oh, you know, so um, I don't think it's a case of that. I just thought that the, that lady was just being very direct, wasn't really having a conversation. It was just a bit too direct, you know, just one word questions, children, smoker. And it's like, what? Uh, hope, surely we can talk, especially in these times. And it's like, um, OK, thank you very much. Yeah, block. It's just, you know. OK, so ladies, if you are in a situation where <laughs> you're not asking the right questions or you're not informing in conversations and I think this goes for male and female because I think Ruth has said the same thing mm, um, she, she said um, that she really doesn't have time for those who are not engaging in conversation so she, you know at, from a female perspective and a male perspective I think it is the same thing I think we can we can honestly say that. Um, in terms of um, of actually taking this further, were there any suitable uh, people that you could maybe say, right? Could we now that we have started speaking, maybe in a few weeks' time, if things still go well, or a few days, or whatever it is, however long you have on it that it could go to speaking via maybe WhatsApp. So you're going to the next stage. Well, are there any, any of those? Well, that, that's just it. I um, would hopefully, within a couple of days, hopefully, or within a week, sometimes that's not the case, where you, you kind of feel comfortable to get on the, website, on the WhatsApp and then to actually eventually start talking. That's the whole idea. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, you know, it's it's kind of, it's a bit tricky for us guys because uh, I had one lady sometime back said to me, are you going to ask you, ask you for my number? I'm like, oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> you were taking too long. Yeah. 
Oh dear. <laughs> oh well, what, what is the etiquette? What is the etiquette here? How long should you wait to, or should it take to ask for a phone number? That's the first question, whoever wants to answer that. And the second question is, who should ask first, male or female? Who wants to do, so I want somebody to have their hand up with question one, someone to have their hand up with question two, who would like to answer that question. You want question one, Patrick? And question two, who should ask first, male or female? All right, we're gonna to go to Patrick first. Hi, Patrick, how you doing? How you doing, how you doing? How you doing, young man? You all right? He can't, he can't respond, he's on quiet. Okay, that's okay. Um, um, the telephone number, right. It took ooh, about nearly a year to get the number. <laughs> Kelly on saying, what? <laughs> you can yes. just see him mouthing, what? <laughs> yeah, it took a year to get the okay. number. Because that wasn't my that wasn't my thing. It wasn't looking for no number. You know, I just wanted some good time. So we she's got a school, so I go and pick her out. I'd ride my bicycle to the college and mm -hmm. ride her and ride her home. And ride, I'd, I'd walk my bike and ride with her and walk with her home. Mm -hmm. And then I'd I say bye and then I'd go back and go back home. You know? There's okay. Not until, and took further down the line, say like about a year. I um I got the number, and then I used to just ring her, ask her how she is, ask her what time she'd come from college, whoever. And uh -huh. I, it was a long time before I got that phone number because that wasn't my intention was to get the phone number. My intention was to um, know more about her, you know, learn more oh, about her. You know, okay. Because, yeah, because if you learn more about if you learn know more about the person, they'll just they'll just it would just easier if you. If you, you can't be too quick, really. That's the way I saw it. And the second question was, who asked for the number? Who <laughs> asks first? Who are, who should ask first? Because Kelly was saying that, that I, the I lady the said. Should, I think the man should ask first. I mean, if, the, if he's asking, if he's dating the girl and she likes him and she likes the way he speaks to her and that, that number is gonna be easy. She might even quickly give him she might write it on her hand and say, look, this is the number, you know, R ring me. She might say that. But in this day and age, the woman is, is quick to give the number. Very quick to give the number. Okay. But, but for me, I, I, I want to talk to her, see how she is, um, what she likes, you know, things like what sort of ice cream flavor she likes, you know, them sort of things. I was more interested in the lady. I was interested in the number. You know, I, I knew from the day that I saw her, that was my girl. So I wasn't really worrying about no number. Numbers, okay. last, yeah, last thing, the number. But okay, yeah. so, so yeah. as we, we can hear, Patrick is very, very much in love with his wife. Uh, and talks very, very fondly of his wife. I mean, we, we've had conversations earlier on today. And so, you know, this is real. This is how uh, Patrick is with his wife and it's a joy to hear it. And so those of us who are single are looking like, okay, so Patrick may need to do some training of some young men. So I'm just saying, you might just need to train some of them up. So we've got some, so we've got some uh, messages in the, in the feed. I've just had to go on my phone it's, uh, to get these up. Um, right, so Diane Cushell is saying that there's no mucking about at our age. Um, she said she met her, her, her partner online and has been with him for nearly six years so yeah. it can work yes. it can work well done diane let's just i'm just going to give you a bit of a round of applause there because i think that 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 is great i i know somebody who's in a relationship i think they've been together for two years um lovely relationship oh that's quite clever patrick yes you're, you're really adulting <laughs> right. Yeah. So so yeah. So dating online. Again. Say that again. This lady on the other side again. She's got a cup in her hand this time. She still don't fool me. You open up to get nothing too strong. It's, she's saying it's a phone. She's got a phone. A phone. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> she's got a cup of tea tonight so listen so um we've got um i think you know this is a dating um site age however what we're talking about and this is just for for those who weren't on the show last week because it's not just about going on a dating site and and finding a partner this show is about those who are single now who want to find a partner because the whole concept of the show came from the viewpoint what if this is the way that life is going to remain this is how this whole concept started what what does that mean for us who are single what does it mean at, you know in terms of their social distancing so even if you wanted to get close to somebody right now because of the restrictions that have been put in by the government it's telling us that we should not be uh, in close proximity to anyone other than the people who are in our household so I want to give you guys the overview of what we are talking about so that we can all talk about it in the same context. Now, um, we, we discovered last week that um, we, we talked about many things uh, uh, and we, we, you know, we were looking at what, are we, what will single people do in the, in the meantime? And we came up with a strategy and a plan to say, right, let's go online and let's start to talk. We have more time now so let's start to talk, let's start to engage and see what's out there and what are, what will be the pitfalls? What are the issues here? Um, because there are a lot of single people of a certain age group and speaking to many say the same thing, that they find it difficult to find their ideal person. And that's even with saying, right, I've got 10 things that I'm desiring and I'm prepared to go for seven. If I can't get the 10, I'll, I'll, I'll allow the three things. And as long as he's, he or she's got those seven things, I will give it a go, all right? But like from Ruth's experience, um, Kelly on's experience, there are some fundamental flaws in, in how we are approaching dating. And I think that that's from both sides in my head. Um, so I want us to to talk from from that perspective. We've got quite a few single people, uh, people on on the feed. Um, Faith Jones says, who wants to ask? Gender stereotypes don't apply anymore. Equality rules. So she, so um, Faith Jones, who is a, a relationships coach, is saying whoever can ask, whoever wants to ask, should ask gender stereotypes don't apply anymore equality rules okay so do we agree with that ladies and gentlemen if we do why do we if we don't why do we um right so i mentioned diane Cosell, and she was set and i was saying that diane's been in a relationship for six years um from dating and she says you only live with him at the weekend normally the week i live at my house in a different town so how diane oh this is a this is a great revelation because we were talking about this last week how are you coping are you cohabitating now are you isolating together or are you still isolating separately and if you are isolating separately how is that going okay how is that going so hi everybody who's who um is jumping on lucia lovely to see you here she missed last week um but don't worry this week what we want you to do those of you who are single we want you to pick three i'm going to set three let's think about the number three three dating sites and we want you to go on and i want you to just talk just have a conversation, look at what's out there. Before you go, have a few questions in mind that you would want to know. Look at the profile, please. Um, because as Kellyon has said in his experience, and, and that's from a male perspective, that women are not reading the profile. And from my perspective as a woman, and I can say for Ruth as well, we're finding that the men that are approaching us are not um, reading the profile. So I'm going to come in, I'm going to go to Lorraine, because I want to know what Lorraine experienced. 
Right. So Diane is saying, just to let you know, we are isolating get together at his house. All the very best. That sounds great. That sounds great. And it right. So you, you have to make a decision. You have to make a decision of what you're going to do. Lorraine. Hello, my darling. Hi. So in your experience, I mean, I know that you've you've done online dating, right? Yeah. Right. So what has your experience been? Um, it's a bit, I, sometimes it's, it's, when you, you look at a profile, it's, it's, you, you think, is this real? Is this real? Is your profile real? Um, are you what you say you are? Um, I've had a few conversations with, um, a few men, um, and, some some it's been it's been okay um a couple of um exchange numbers but they're the ones that gave me their numbers first um so i didn't pick it up straight away um because i wasn't sure because it's a new thing to me mm -hmm. so um a bit dubious about it but um we've we've i've had um conversations i was talking to one for a while um but uh he was going through not anything major or anything like that moving and stuff and then we stopped talking um but i never met him um i did meet somebody else um last year and we we had after probably about a week and we did have conversations and stuff like that but it was just like coffee tea something mm -hmm. like making a cab mm -hmm. Um, then he went on his way and we've always we've talked um up until i don't know probably christmas and that and then he's just restarted talking to me and that's on whatsapp um and it's been it's been okay but it's not it's not gone any further so mm -hmm. i don't know something i'm not doing or not saying or you know his profile worked out really nice he's said what he said who he is um but I don't know, sometimes I feel maybe I'm not asking the right questions, okay. you know? So I don't know. Okay, so do you think that um, that your dating is a reflection of how you feel about yourself? I'm just asking you that because of what you just said. Um, I'm, I can be a cautious person. Okay. Um, I'm, I, I think a lot about things, so, <laughs> but maybe I overthink, maybe I should stop it. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Do you yeah. think? Do you think? <laughs> okay, okay. And, and that's the reason why I thought I would, I would ask you that question, because I can see from your conversation, what you're having with us now, that you're overthinking and you're, you, you know, oh, you okay. can't work it. You're, you're not working it out. I think, I think, I think we have to get to a stage when we're dating where we're relaxed about it and we enjoy it. Um, yeah. It sometimes isn't an enjoyable experience because you don't know what the other person is thinking. But the one thing that I will say from this point, and and I, I'm not an expert on well. I'm a data. I've been dating a long time. So I could say I'm an expert, but I'm not an expert, if you get what I mean, on dating. But what I would say is that um, if you, if you want to know something, if you're talking to somebody and you don't know where it's going, be bold enough to ask. Just ask, you know, because at the end of the day, the person can't kill you really asking is not going to kill you but you will know exactly where you stand from the yeah. get-go yeah and, you know and I think that that's I want to come in because Lucia is saying she found men didn't really read the profile she said she's been on on dating sites before and she said she's not I'm, I'm not sure I can face another dating site been there done it and tried a few because sometimes it you know, when you're going on these sites, it can be demoralizing. So I think we have to be really clear about what we want. Yeah, yeah, it's about very daunting. It's very daunting sometimes. So yeah, as I I do think too much into things as well. So and um, 
although I can be straightforward, I don't think I'm straightforward enough because I don't want to come off as rude, you know? Right. So you're, you're second guessing, thinking about what the other person's thinking of you. Oh, you, I don't want him to think this and I don't want him to think that. But if you think that, that's exactly what he will think because that's what you're projecting. Yeah. yeah. So and, and we have to be mindful. Faith is saying, yes, ask. If you want to find something out, just ask. And I agree. Just, just ask. What yeah. is it? You know, I, I'm going to let me let me. I'm just going to before I bring in one of the other guys, I'm going to give you um, uh Shalomi says it's okay to be single. It is okay to be single if that's what you want. Yeah. If that's what you want. But if that's not what you want, then this is why we are having this convers these conversations so we can start to navigate ourselves in a different way so that we get what we want. Okay, so I I had a dating experience a couple of years ago. Um, and I met a really very lovely looking young man online. And we saw each other for probably about eight or nine months, I think, probably. And he looked the part. He was very fine. I'm, I'm just going to lay it out. He was a very handsome, well-built, well-put-together, good job, nice car, properties so he ticked a lot of boxes right very strong tall handsome he, he ticked a lot of boxes and so I said okay so I'm gonna go out and we, we dated and had a lovely time but after some time I started to realize that our personalities didn't match you see what I'm doing here <laughs> like that. there was no and the thing is, in terms, he had everything else apart from a personality that I could gel with. Unable to make conversation. It was very difficult for him to make conversation. And as much as all of those things were there, and I thought, yeah, I, I, it couldn't go any further because there was no connection. Right? So I want us to, because a lot of the time we go into these things and, and at the end of the day, when I look at it, I knew that there was no connection from the beginning because the connection had to be there from the beginning, right? It would have to be there from the beginning. But because he had all these other elements and I got swept away and I was like, oh, he's a really nice guy. And he's, you know, and we've met and we're doing all these lovely things. There was no connection. So I just had to bow out and say, do you know what? This is not for me. Now, my girlfriends would look at me and say, well, what's wrong with you? What, what's wrong with the man? You know, well, you know, just see what you can do with him. But at the end of the day, <laughs> you guys are laughing. <laughs> if there's no connection, right? And if it's if not if it's not I'm gonna I'm unmuting you guys. If it's not going to 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 bear well, that's just a waste of time. You guys, I'm unmuting you, right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah I just I'll, want you because I've given you that scenario. So I want you. To... <laughs> yeah, no, it's true though because on my profile, I'm on yeah, a on, Kelly. called um called Hinge, and Ooh. it's like best app I've actually ever been on. Hinge. Hinge. I'm on that one. Oh, are you? I'm good. I'm not. Hinge. <laughs> yeah. Never heard of it. Yeah. Hinge. <laughs> Hinge is good because uh, well from from my point of view, a lot of the women um they are who they look like they are. Um it's a profile where your pictures are on there and you make these almost like these one-liner comments and these pictures pretty much tell a story of your life and what you get up to and stuff like that it's it's just it's just really good and um i've got a part of my profile that says um i can't remember how it starts because they kind of prompt you to then give an answer which mine is um i need somebody who i can connect with so um i'm, I'm with you there one that uh, mm. you know somebody could have everything but the connection is just not there. 
uh, which is um, maybe more important than anything else. So yeah, attraction is obviously something that we will appeal to according to what you're attracted to, but as you've just proved it yourself, you can't actually talk to the person and they can't talk to you and you can't, you know. Yeah, it, it, it made no, it, it, made, it made it, in his, his whole appearance became insignificant. Yeah. Because there was just no real connection there. Mm. And that's quite sad. I, I think that was quite sad. Um, we've got Victor on the, on, on the feed. He says, at the start of the relationship, three to six months in, you should have the chat. You need to know if it gets serious, what this person will want from you. And they need to know what you will expect. I think, I think, <laughs> Grace Campbell said, name all the dating sites. I've never been on one. You, you need to get one on one. <laughs> you need to get on one, love. Right, so going back to, to what, what has been just been saying about three to six months, I think for some of us, there is no dating because we've got to remember where we're at, right? And we want to be able to help everybody move forward sorry, move forward um, in, in the way that they want to go. And, and this is a personal thing. Many people are single, are lonely, and don't want to talk about it. They would rather just put their head in the sand and, and, and be unhappy. But we are saying today, we want to do something about it. And there are lots of, there's lots of coaches out there that would help. But we want to find a way because, you know, one of the things that my, my daughter said to me, she said, at the end of this lockdown, there's going to be lots of parties going on. There's going to be lots of celebrations going on, right? And she's like, and she's going to all of them. That's what she said. She's going to all wow. of them. And I'm like, yeah, good for you. And then, you know, my son is like saying, yeah, you know, after lockdown, you know, man, because my, my sons are of age and they're like, man and man is going to be looking... Because so, one is single, one's in a relationship. The single one is like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be looking, and you know, I'm looking to meet someone ready for settling, and you know. So I'm saying to myself, self, what are you going to do? So I'm thinking about right. Let me set something up for myself. Let me start to look and prepare for the eventuality of of and this is why we are having this conversation um but i'm looking for connection and one of the things i think ruth brought it up actually i wish we could we could i might actually get you guys talking to see if i can bring up ruth's video ruth sent a video um of her experience of dating which is classic it's so good it made me laugh so much but i think that one of the things is language that we see on these dating sites. And I see a lot of, I don't want this, I don't want that, <laughs> I don't want the other. But actually, if you're saying that this is what you don't, that's what you don't want, that's all you're gonna be attracting. That's all you're gonna get. You know, I don't want a psychopathic woman. All you're gonna get coming to you is psychopaths. Because when I read that, I don't Ooh. want a psychopath woman. I'm like, next. <laughs> So Ruth, tell us about your findings. All right, so um, <laughs> first thing, you see a picture and then it's like, don't lie. You know, like what would I, <laughs> don't want in a partner. <laughs> Never to always be honest thoughts, just certain things. And then they've got these luck bits that things that they will never do. Oh, I'll never cheat, I'll never lie. And I'm like, you're liared. Boom, gone next. <laughs> it's just the language is so appalling. Yeah, the language, I don't yeah. want no bunny boy. Like, I'm thinking, yes, you do. See ya. Bye. And, mm -hmm. and it, I just was just going through and through and through because, like you see in the evidence, it, the, I'm like, you're not over that. You're not over the cheating and lying came up oh. so much. I only gave you a snippet. That is not half of what I've seen. Like it's just so much. So I'm thinking there's a lot of hurt people out there. And I'm wondering, are you looking for a relationship? Or are you just looking for a little peace? Because there's a difference, you know what I mean? Because you're saying that I want long-term relationships, 
but you know, I don't want someone who's a liar, dishonest, and this, that, the other. So I was thinking, all right, you've obviously met someone who's a liar, someone who's been dishonest in your yeah. past, and now you're bringing this up right now? <laughs> no. <laughs> so it was lots of it, loads, loads it, of it, hurt men, loads. But I'm, it'd be interesting to see from Kellyon's point of view. I was if, just about to unmute if Kellyon. That's coming up. Kellyon. Mm -hmm. yeah did you hear what Ruth was asking from your perspective yeah can you just paraphrase that so just just summarize what you said like in the profiles you know like you've got all these little questions like cheating lying dishonesty bunny boilers all this comes up in the profile do you see that yeah um yeah I do see that as well um people do tend to you know write all that stuff <laughs> people what they people. don't want it's yeah like what they don't want rather than what what they do yeah, i mean well i mean I, I i found that more in another app because the 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 app the the hinge app that i'm in right now doesn't really give you that room to do that so i think they are aware of what ruth is saying <laughs> there might be a lot of research on this and questionnaires so they prompt what they feel that feel the answer that you should give, which makes your profile look stronger. So it so you're attracting who you want rather than what you don't want. So yeah, I can remember one app I was on, it was POF, where it was um, yeah, I I don't want a man that's under six foot and I don't want a man that's anything less than six inches. <laughs> you know, you just <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know right so yeah so obviously if you if anybody has said of the law of attraction you mm -hmm. know uh, then yeah i think there's a lot of people that have said exactly what both people and Ruth said there where they are saying what they want what they don't want rather than what they do want uh, but it's funny though that you say that as well i was very shocked when a few ladies said to me that there were guys that were blatantly saying that they wanted women with big breasts and um, big butts and i was like really I said yeah and but they they were quite appreciative of it they said well at, at least be straight with with what he wants and i'm thinking even if i you know even if i didn't want those things i would not be saying that uh -huh. You know, I'll, I'll just be drawn to who I feel is I'm attracted to and, and keep it moving there. I would not say, do not contact me if you haven't got a big bum and a big breath. I mean, that's just... <laughs> wow. That, yeah. That's been very specific as what you what you want. Yeah. Yes. Um, let's just... So. I'm just going to go back on some of the feed. Um, right, so we've got... Because we've got a mixed bag of people here tonight. So we have we do have some people who are single who do not want to be in a relationship, which is fine. We've got Shalomi says, when women are single for a long time, maybe like 10 years or over, they make up the perfect man in their heads in which no man is real and can fit that man. That's an interesting thought. I, th I think that's a very interesting thought. I want to say good evening to everybody that's logged on. Thank you for joining us here. We are discussing relationships today and we are looking at it from a perspective that a lot of us here are single um, and we uh, would like to find partnership, find love, um, find our ideal partner. Um, and we would like to do that for when the lockdown is over. So what we are doing is we are setting an intention to find somebody that we want. And I think that we have to be realistic in what we, we want. But I also think that what we want is out there because we are out there. So if we are out there, what we want must be out there. Because I, I believe, and I'm just the person like that, I believe that there is somebody for everyone and that you don't have to share. Should I say that last bit again? Yeah. You don't have to share. 
Okay. So Faith Jones is saying, whatever you put your profile, whatever you put on your profile is what you attract. It can also make you look the relationship. It can also make you look the relationship you develop usually have those issues. You are the you are the common thread. So what you want, what you're asking, what the intention is, like Patrick said with his wife, he knew from day one what his intention was. His intention wasn't to get her number. Her in, his intention was to have this young lady in his life. That was his intention. So I think if we set the intent, intention from the beginning, that's we know that we are then on the right path. The thing is, is to find the other person their intention that is similar to yours so good evening everybody good evening good evening good evening um i'm just going through the thread <laughs> okay <laughs> Lucia was saying tonight is a good time to set your intention with the super moon okay i didn't know that but we have a super moon so it's tonight is the night to set an intention Okay, so Lucia, I'm going to place that on you. What is your intention? And it, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a dating site, because let me tell you this. I have been inundated with friend requests from Facebook, and it's all men. And my, I don't accept requests from men, because my target audience are women. So I, I, I generally don't, unless I know you or I know, you know, somebody that knows me really well. I don't, and I'm just getting inundated with people. Don't know what their caliber is, but there you go. Just saying, just saying that there are other ways. I, I, I've been approached on Instagram. That, you know, people are using all kinds of Twitter to attract people. So let's not, just limit it to um, the dating sites. Even though if someone does approach me on those social media sites, I do get a bee in my bonnet. I'm just going to say, don't. This is not a dating site. Do not approach me in that way. Thank you very much. So, okay. So what we're looking for, I think on this thread here, it's mature men, right? Am I right? Is everybody looking for... A mature man because I'm gonna bring in because we have two mature men in the in the group here um, and I want to bring in Patrick <coughs> sorry because I want to ask Patrick even though pa I know Patrick has has been in a relationship for a long time I want Patrick to give some tips on chivalry how to approach a woman and I think Kelly on you can also um add to that um because you said something last week and i haven't forgotten you said you do read profiles which i thought was brilliant because not many men do that i've come across so patrick i'm going to bring you in okay right as you know i'm a married man i've been married for 37 years i'm wow. a happily married man right i go downtown i don't know why it doesn't matter if the lady is 80 it doesn't matter on the age. They're always smiling at me. You know? They always want to say hello. How are you? Always approach me. Doesn't matter what age they are. Sometimes I walk with my it's wife. Your it's your hat, Patrick. No, you no, always have on a hat. Yeah, Last week wearing, it was green. Down. This week it's cool. I'm not wearing a hat in town, right? I'm walking, sometimes I'm walking with my wife as well. And the lady will go, hello, how are you today? How, how are you doing? And I said, I'm all right. And when when I when I um when I go around the corner with my wife, she goes, Who is that? I said, I don't know. Because I never know. But to what I see is that I don't know. People seem to say is my eyes. Now, if they look in your eyes and they see you're confident, if they see you're confident, it all depends on what your motive is. If you've got a motive, you've got no chance. See with me? It doesn't matter who I talk to, what lady I talk to. She don't know I'm married because I don't even wear my wedding ring. Hardly wear it, right? Um, if you're confident, if she can see in your face that you're confident, you can be a confident person, but you, your intention is not to grab them, say. Mm -hmm. To be, to be you, you want to be a friend. So 
and I hear you all saying about dating sites, right? Um, on the pa on the in this room with all these young ladies and young men, right? You can go down town and just meet somebody. I I got to town and I got to a shop in town one day, and I'm I'm looking at something like um, Lucas Aid or something. And this lady comes up to me and she goes, oh, that one's nice. I never even asked her, you know? I know, but you have to bear in mind, Patrick, we are on lockdown, so we can't go to town. There is no going to town unless you're going well, shopping. Well, I, there's a good, I've got a good idea, right? Go on then. If I'm not down now. My lady's over the river, right? Well, I'll write her. I'll write her a letter. You have to find her first, though. Yeah, but I will find her. Is yeah. I, I, I think I think speaking I think speaking to her on the phone is a good way. Mm -hmm. FaceTime is a good way. Mm -hmm. um, um, Skype is a good way. It doesn't matter mm -hmm. how I see her. I still have to I still have to say hello. I still have to be nice. Mm -hmm. Personally, if I don't want to talk on Skype or anything like that, I'd write her a letter. I'll find her. Oh, I write her a letter. Isn't that nice? Because that's the way that in these times now, once you've met the person, mm -hmm. once you, once you met her, because you can't meet somebody unless you you go on social media, unless you, I mean, it's crazy. I talked to someone today. I asked. I I was on Facebook, mm -hmm. and I and I just saw someone, and I said hello, and it's, and then before I knew it, she was talking to me, and I was talking back to her. I never even, I never even met the lady. Mm -hmm. And I was asking her, are you a believer? She said, yeah. And she was talking to me. I was talking to her. You know? And that's how that's how easy. If you... So, so you're saying in a nutshell, Patrick, that we overcomplicated. We're well, overcomplicating maybe the whole process. What do you think? Well, the thing is, right, um, me personally, I prefer... People prefer different people. I don't know what, what you see on, the, on, the, on these... Um, sites i don't know who you see but me pref i prefer my home people i prefer a black lady i don't care she's okay. fiercely that's a challenge mm -hmm. if she's feisty it's a challenge so okay. you know she don't, she don't get away from me <laughs> because a lot of west indian women they look at you and you might some men might can't handle that they just they just go in a shell if they see them they they maybe frighten them but mm -hmm. But I think that if the man knows that he's looking for a nice lady and he'll find a nice lady, it's, it's not just about looking at her. He's got to talk to her and he's got to be nice. Give her a red rose, give her some chocolate, you know, be nice. If he's nice, yeah. then she'll be nice. I mean, look at Ruth. Ruth looks nice. She looks like a nice, tender person. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, she just looks nice. And, <laughs> I only see. Up. I can only see the best in people. Yeah, so that's another Guys, thing. I don't see the worst in people. I've only seen the best in people. Let me just ask you, ladies, ladies who are on the thread, um, if you can, you put if if you were to receive a letter, um, would you like to receive a letter from somebody that has an interest in you? I want you to just put in the in the in the thread. I want you to just show me. Um, if you would, if that's something that would make you feel, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I, I think that, that would make you feel valued. That would make you feel like the person wants to be or is very interested in you and it is legitimately interested in you. Right, so we've got yes, yes. Come on, ladies, don't be shy. Don't be shy at all. Um, we've got lots of different people from all over the world watching. Salome saying, my ideal man would be six foot or over, weight 190 to 200 pounds, dark, good breath. <laughs> what? <laughs> good breath. Good breath. Um, physically fit, adventurous, lookable, spontaneous, and God-fearing in real life. Well, there's nothing to say that you couldn't get all of that. Welcome. We have another visitor in the Zoom room. Guys, if I put, I, I, we are in the Zoom room. Um, if there anybody wants to come into the Zoom room, please let me know. Kellyon is waving. I'm going to let Kellyon in, then Ruth, then, then Lorraine. So I'm going to come over to Kellyon. Hi, Kellyon. Yeah. 
Yeah, Patrick, listen, a lot of your ideas are great, yeah? And I'd be able to relate to it a lot closer than a lot of the younger men these days. Now, if we're talking about this lockdown thing, I just went past the park today and these kids are just, <laughs> they're just almost touching each other, right? So, um, yes, if we're talking about giving advice to these teenagers, for, for, so if we're talking about giving advice to these, to these teenagers, for a start, they do not take um, obedience very well. <laughs> they they um, it's nonetheless instructions. So that's a start. And these guys are not into the whole romance thing. Um, that they don't do the chivalry stuff. It's it's very blunt with them. And unfortunately, um, yeah, it's just a very different era, Patrick. It's a very different era. It'd be great if we were to give advice like this, but we're talking this this kind of chivalry thing is what, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, maybe up until the 80s. From the 90s, it just switched. So um, these dating apps, thankfully, these dating, these dating apps, the ones that I'm on, um, they do go according to tradition. But anything, any person that's like 16, 17, 18, up until maybe 25, maybe 30, it's a different world. Right. And I, I actually agree with you, Kelly, on, and I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why I agree with you to a, to a certain degree. Because I know already there is an age group who are not isolating in the way that we have been told. Yeah. I'm telling you, I'm not asking you, I'm telling you this because I speak to them and they have spoken to me and they have yeah. said, you know, I know people who were isolating on their own and now all of a sudden they're isolated with a young lady or a young man. And they've decided that halfway through the isolation that it's okay. Whereas somebody of my age now would be like, well, no, you, you're going to have to wait until such time as we can come together so let us get together let us get to know one another in this season and so when the new season come then we can see how we maneuver Ooh. in that time do you get what i'm saying but i know up to like i'd say 30 maybe 38 39 they're still playing they're still like the boundaries are, are not tight they're very open and they're doing what they want to do and they're having relationships and they're meeting in parks and they're not adhering to the social distancing you know so but then I'll, uh, let me just say this i'm going to push this and then i'm going to let you guys come in i think ruth wanted to come in then then um, lorraine then patrick i'll put this to you and this is what i put to, to them <laughs> is that if you I understand some of their mentality because if they've been isolating for, let's say, 21 days, let's just say they've been off, they're at home, they're in their house, so they know for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, they haven't got the virus, right? Ooh. And the person that they're speaking to is also been at home for 21 days. No signs of the virus. So they are then saying, okay, so I'm driving my car. We both drive, we're driving my car, we're gonna meet, or I'm just coming to your yard and I'm gonna come to your yard and I'm gonna, either which way you wanna do it, I'm coming to your yard or you're coming to mine, but know that when you come, you're not going, you gotta stay. Is that reasonable? And I wanna, I'm putting it out there, just, I'm just putting it out there for everybody, what everybody's opinion is on that. So, how do I, okay, so, Okay, I'm gonna put this because we are we I've just put the link um for Zoom in. We're at eleven twenty-five and guys, I want you to know we are actually streaming live on radio as well tonight. So I haven't really we they're just hearing us uh, hearing our conversation and that's where we are. So um I, it was Ruth that wanted to come in. Let me just bring Ruth in and then we're gonna bring in Lorraine, then Patrick, then I'm gonna bring in our friend. Cheryl's in the 
in t in the um, Zoom room as well. And I think we're going to get a few more people because I've just put it in. This show ends on radio at midnight, but it will probably go on a little bit later in the Zoom room. So you are welcome to join the Zoom room. Ruth, what was it that you wanted to say? What you just said, stay in your yard. But what I was going to say... <laughs> previously was you um following what patrick had said it is nice when you and kelly are to connect on a, an emotional level or a connection level where you can talk where you can communicate and and if you do spark interests or anything like that then it is nice to move to the to the next level um, things have changed. People are not waiting anymore. Like you can see anything at any given time. These are the reasons why I don't want to give out my number because I don't want to see no pics of any size, length. Oh, okay. yes, anything. it's the truth. Come on, I don't. Tell it. Yes. That's why Come I'm on. not giving out my number. I don't want to see it. What is that going to do for me right now in this area? Yeah, and I don't want to true. see no videos neither. I'm, I'm not, no, that, thank you. Yes, thumbs up. So I don't want to see <laughs> none of that. So mm -hmm. this is why I'm like saying, you know, you've got this platform, you've got the, the app and you can talk and you can, you can message. Once you connect or you like each other's pictures or you make a comment, especially on Hinge, if you make a comment on their picture or something, you, you, you match and then you can, um, have conversations because it was it was a friend of mine that got me on it and it was another friend that told her about it and she was like I don't know how it works I'm going to pay the 17 pounds I said you don't have to all you got to do is if you like someone and they like you you can you can start the the conversation which is quite easy so I just wanted to add that don't want to see your pictures not like that face is fine you know with clothes on is absolutely fine but other than that just get lost. Sorry. <laughs> oh dear, Ruth. I, I love you because I think it's right. So hold on. We're going back to the question of letters. <laughs> Some people are saying that they feel like they belong in the 80s. <laughs> um, um, Grace is saying that she would love a letter and can read it over and over again. Um and Shalomi said that would be nice. Ruth has also said that she would like a letter. Um, we've got more. I'm just going through. Lucia says yes. Yes, she would like. Carol Lorraine Rollins is saying yes, that they would like to have. So, Patrick, your idea of sending a letter. Guys, if you're listening, those of you who are on the WW dot, those of you who are there on the WW dot, those of you who are listening on Facebook, you know, um, listen to what the ladies are saying. Yeah, if you want to win a lady's heart, Patrick's given some good advice. Write a letter. Write a letter. I'm coming over to you. Yes, Patrick. Another thing about the letter, you see, you see, gentlemen, ladies, right? It should be ladies first, gentlemen, yeah? Anyway, um, when you're writing your Valentine card, some men write a lot in that Valentine card. They don't just write little thing, they, they write a lot. And that's another way of, um, if they write in a Valentine card things, what they need to say, they can actually write it in the card too. You know, a card, it's not, it's not that I'm coming from the 80s, I'm talking about now. Mm -hmm. Now you would, now you'd write a letter because the postman is about the only person that's working. Ain't mm -hmm. nobody else working at it, the postman's working, so that you'll get the letter. You know, and so a letter, I think uh, to me, a letter is a good thing. And I'm glad that there's some ladies that think a letter is a good thing because that's a, that's a man's heart, basically. He's writing, he's not going to write, when he's writing a letter, he's not going to write um, three paragraphs. He's going to write a whole page and he's got to be thinking about what he's writing. So that's coming from his heart. So it's a good thing. Yeah, I think the comment is saying uh, um, about being in the 80s, I think. What the young lady's saying is, is that maybe she feels like she wishes that she was living in the 80s to have that kind of chivalry that you yeah. are that you are talking about. Because 
as much as it's old school and, and some of the young people might just oh chum man that's old old school there are some things from the old that are so rich yeah so good that that it, it, it just can't be replaced with the you're right love it, it just doesn't it doesn't tally it doesn't it doesn't go it doesn't work and now um, our youngsters are very quick they're very they're they're all right in this lockdown right they they're messing about and doing their own thing and everything right all right so the, the lady gets pregnant now right then she has to go to hospital then she's she might be in a bit of bother then because she be scared of the virus being in there then she'd be scared they will be scared then so it's so better than go in that direction and keep themselves at a yard <laughs> Well, you know, Ruth, Ruth said, and you agree, and stay, stay at home. I've got here, is, I think it's pronounced Ivel, um, Kayana Lane, she's saying, um, there was this guy I was admiring for a long time, but I I'm old fashioned. So I believe it's a woman's place to show interest mildly, what we may call batting the eye, and the man's place to chase. So we mm. ended up out together in a group and were introduced. The first thing the guy asked me is this, if I can cook. What? That turned me off. In my mind, I didn't know what to think. Help. Okay. Well, lady. So we've got a genuine question here, guys. Well, lady, I can answer that for you right now. Sit with me now. My mother taught me to cook. Mm -hmm. Right? And the reason why she taught me to cook was that when I get married, I can help my wife. And all my brothers can cook. We all can cook. So if we meet a lady that can't cook, we're not running her down about the cooking. We teach her to, how to cook. We're not running her down about the cooking at all. You know? So, you know. So, so this guy that's saying about can she cook, I mean, what do you make of that in, in terms of oh, the first thing he asks is can she cook? What, what yeah, but that's, the, that's, that's, he's, he's out of order, basically. He's out of order. You don't, you don't ask a lady that. It's like you're going to lock her in the kitchen. No, you're not going to do that. You've got to, You've got to, if you can cook, that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then when you meet the lady, if she if she can do little bits, it's good. Okay, thanks for that, Patrick. We've got, I'm gonna unmute Kelly because guys, if you've got something to say, what I'm gonna say is just put your finger up, I'm gonna let you in. I just want to say we've got some messages for some guys. My good friend Tony Cox. Hello, my darling. How are you doing? Thank you for joining us, sir. Tony Cox is saying, I'm 51. And letters are a thing of the past. I can FaceTime for three hours. Why should I write a letter? But you never right, see I, the response that the lead is. Okay, um, I'm going to let Patrick answer that question because the lady's 51. And I think it's better. Well, he's that... 51. Um, Tony, he's, sorry, sorry, he's, he's 51. 51 and he's sorry, saying, Tony. Yeah, Tony's, Tony's 51. Sorry. And he, why should he write a letter when he can FaceTime? Well, yeah, actually, no, actually no, no, let me answer that and then Patrick can answer as well. Yeah, um, I think it's very romantic what Patrick's putting forward in terms of literally getting your hand with a pen and writing it out. It's a very lovely thing to do. I think it's something that I would do um, according to the, to the occasion. But Tony is correct. You do have FaceTime. But then if you're talking about the written word, you do have WhatsApp. Uh, you do have text inbox, you do have messenger, you know, uh, and you can have some nice, lovely conversations in these social media inboxes now. I mean, you know, uh, you know even obviously with the dating apps, you can write some, you know, have some really good, sweet conversations in there. But there is something uh, uh, lovely about writing a letter. It is very romantic. You know, if you were to even if you were able to post it to the letterbox in these days maybe wear some the latex gloves, gloves. <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah you know I, mean? I, yeah I agree I think I think what the letter signifies is the person actually taking the time yes you can write on whatsapp it's very easy to write on WhatsApp. We whatsapp every day um but I think for somebody who has taken the time to write mm. a letter it shows a little bit more dedication but I would think that if you are going to write a letter if somebody wrote me a letter I'm going to look at that person like they're serious Ooh. they're serious they're on they're yeah. on their a game they're not they're not on this little uh, yeah let me just make make 
make, make, you know, and just get on the 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 um, the WhatsApp or whatever. And so, are you as in are the letter U okay? You know, we have to start using language in a in a more productive way. So. I'm just going to welcome, we've got two ladies that's just jumped in um, to the Zoom room. We're at 10.36. We've missed every break on the station, but we are talking. So those of you who are on www. my apologies, because this is the first show of this kind. And it is uh, very, very um, inclusive. We're talking, we're getting to know each other. Right. So I'm going to just go through some of these. Um, and if any of you guys can see from the thread as well do um you can also help me by reading them out too because that does help um corinne can you hear me no she can't hear me um i think she can hear you she just um needs to unmute herself or something I, she's muted but we can't and shalomi can you hear me I think these ladies are coming, but their their things on silent. They can't hear, so I don't know what it is that they have to click from your side, so that they can engage in conversation. Is there something else that they need to click? There's a, a there's a mute button. They they can unmute themselves. Or they have to dial in. They need to dial in. There's a oh. dial in that they can dial in the oh, audio yeah. so they can hear you. Yeah, that, that as right, well, yeah. guys. If you can. If you can hear me, there's an audio button that you can dial into. Cheryl, can you hear me? Yeah, she can, yeah. Can you okay, hear me, Greg? Yeah, is that Shalomi? Yeah, can you hear yes, me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. I can hear you. Right. So you yeah. put yourself on mute. We can mute you. That's it. Lovely. You mute yourself. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so we've got Lucia say you can't be a letter dropping through your letterbox. Can you? No, you can't. So yes, yeah, so, and um, is it Ivil? She was saying that she thought that the man saying, came asking her if she could cook, that he was looking for a mother. Um, he didn't ask if I can. He asked if I do. Do you cook? Wow. I don't know where he's from. I, 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 I wouldn't like to be approached in that way. I'm just saying. That would put me right off. Um, ladies, let me know, let me know. Let, let's bring Cheryl in. Cheryl hasn't said anything. Hello, good evening, Cheryl. Good evening, my love. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Thank you for joining us this evening. You're welcome. It's a pleasure. <laughs> so, um, I've, I feel has had this dilemma uh, with this man um, who's asked her, do you cook? Well, I guess my, my reply to that would be, um, you earn enough money to feed me if I stop working. <laughs> <laughs> Do you earn enough money to feed you if she stops working? Yeah. yeah. Why, why are you asking me if I can cook? <laughs> you know. <it's>, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think oh, too early in the day. Too <laughs> early. Most of us are of the age where we kind of um, an era where. When we met someone, we'd meet them at a party, it'd be at a house party, it'd be in a social occasion, or the, the guy that you met would be a friend of a friend. And things have changed so much that I, I find it really difficult. And I also find that a lot of men our age, if they're single, they're single because they've come out of a bad relationship or mm -hmm. like, a lot of baggage. That can, in our, our age, carry a lot of baggage. Um, and it's really hard to find one that's actually interested in, in committing to uh, a serious relationship. Yeah. And I think, uh, uh, have you had experiences of dating online? Um, I actually, many years ago, I met, um, mm -hmm. I met on an American uh, website, um, a guy, and um, I actually went to Chicago to meet him. Mm hmm but re it really, how, how he came across, he, he was a lovely guy, but he wasn't totally honest about where he was in his life. Mm -hmm. 
so I, I don't think people are very, for the most part, I don't think people are very honest on those dating apps. I, it's not something that I kind of, though I do know people that I've met on them and I've, I've made great relationships, so I can't knock it, but I think they're more failures than successes, personally. Okay, thank you for your input. You're thank you very, very much. Um, Ivo says, I believe there's a time for everything. Letters for me show someone a serious intention. So write that letter if you're ready to take the relationship to another level and if they're afraid to speak. No. <laughs> speak. <laughs> Sorry. Corinne wants to come in. Corinne, I'm going to bring you. Thank you so much for your input, Cheryl. Hello, Corinne. How are you? Well done. Let's... There you go. How are you doing, Corinne? Hi. Hello, darling. How are you doing? Good. Lely good. It's Lely midnight, isn't it? It is. We've got fifth, near just like maybe 18, 19 minutes before the end of the show on the radio. And then we're going to, uh, we, we can stay in the Zoom room if you like. So what is your input, my darling? Yes, um, it was very interesting hearing everyone's um oh can't talk because i can hear you mom yeah you need to tell us <laughs> sorry tell us it's hard to talk because my mom's got hers on as well so we would like just to turn it down <laughs> okay so when mum turns it down i'll come back to you thank because you we're, we're hearing it we're hearing it back all right okay cool, all right no darling problem. thank you Right, so Tony Cox says, um, yeah, thanks for the advice, Tony, in terms of the audio. They've now got the audios on. He says, just say yes if you can. Believe it or not, that could be an icebreaker question. Are you being too analytical? That Oh, this is for um, Ivil. Tony's saying, just say yes if you can. Believe it or not, that could be an icebreaker question. Um, are you being too analytical? Okay. Icebreaker questions cut the chase and stop the waste of time. Mm. Mm. I'm going to... Uh, mm. I'm, I'm going to... Who wants to come in and respond to that? <laughs> because... Mm. I, I want... Uh, Patrick wants to come in and respond to that. Okay, Patrick, here you go. I think um, the young man is maybe a bit pushy. He's in a hurry. But this is not what it's about. You can't be in a hurry, brother. You've got to take it easy, cool it, man. Um, you know, you've got to be easy with the lady. You know, some, some men actually get married and don't even know the lady can cook. And then they've got to do, you know, um, work it out, got to work it out. So, you know, it's not about rushing the lady. It's about helping her along, you know, talking to her and being nice. That's what it's about. If you're going to date a lady, got to be nice from day one. If you show her that um, some funny things about you, she's not going to want to know. No, she just ain't going to want to know. Shut down right. on you. And is this, the, is it, uh, just to, to clarify, um, Patrick, is this in relation to the um, can you cook? Do you cook? It was do you cook question. Yeah, do you, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even ask a lady that. Once I know I can cook, you know, mm -hmm. if she can cook as well, that's good. But I'm not going to, I'm not going to, first thing I say to a lady as soon as I meet her, you can't cook. That, that's, that's, an, that's an insult. It's an insult to the lady. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, you, you said everything here. I, like I said, I'm going to let someone else answer. Kellyon is coming on, I'm, and then I'm going to come to Shalomi. Come on, Kellyon. Yeah but, yeah, but that is a good question, though. If it was on the reverse, and a woman asked a man if he can cook, would that be just as bad? Yeah, I, 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 I'm just, I wouldn't, that is not a question that I would ask at all, on a, on a, especially not on a first date. Yeah, but okay, but, okay, but then wouldn't we now need to, that's, that's a good point for a first date, I get it. Uh, it's a bit like the woman on Hinge asking me if I had children, like that was her first question. So obviously there is a need, and it's, it's not the first time I've had that. Uh, where I even had it with, with one lady. She asked me if I had 
if I had children? I said, yeah. I saw that she didn't have any children. So I, I then said to her, I take it that you would like to have some children. Did I get blocked afterwards? Yeah, I got blocked because from what I'm getting from her is that I have children. She hasn't got children. Maybe she wants to start a relationship with the guy where she can just begin to have children with him. You know, obviously she didn't read my profile properly, but you know, I think she must have felt embarrassed and maybe she blocked me, I'm not too sure. But that's why I'm asking as well, why would, why would somebody ask you if you could cook? Why would somebody ask you if you have children? Why would somebody ask you if, if you could smoke? There's obviously some kind of need that they feel that they need satisfied or some, something that they want. So it's almost like taking a step back and ask the question, why would you ask me that question? Maybe it's not rude. Um, maybe it's rude to you, but for them, they, they just really make almost maybe a cry uh, or for something. And maybe that's sometimes where a friendship could even begin because you now start asking questions and they can search within themselves, you know, of what's really, as much as putting forward nicely, what's really important. You know, is it really important that I should be able to cook or not? No, but for first date, yeah, I, I totally get it. But I guess if that person meets a person that is a good listener, mm -hmm. um, yeah, that, you know, it, it, it can be a start of a, of, a, of, a, of a good friendship, maybe even a relationship. Yeah. Who knows? My, thank you for that. I think, I think Tony, Tony's come back and start. Um, all right. So um, we've got loads of, loads of messages here. Right. So um, if I go back, Tony can't say not to, he's not rushing, but it works both ways in terms of um, Lyndon, Lyndon Wissart has, has said, I Hold on, wash he can wash cook, wash cook iron perfect lady. Great, that you're a joker. But Lucia says she's never asked a man if he can cook. Um, Linda is saying I can cook, but people can take advantage of my skills. But we know that Lyndon is a very good cook. As a matter of fact, Lyndon is going to be on uh, one of my shows on Friday. Uh, Good Friday is going to be cooking some fish dishes, a dish uh, or prawn or fish, whatever you want to use. So we're going to be doing that here live at four o'clock on Friday. That's this Friday. And if you want to be a part and you want to cook at the same time, the Zoom room will be open. So we'll be able to see you all cooking in your kitchen, doing your stuff. And Lyndon is going to teach us how to cook a great meal so yes Lyndon I am taking advantage of your cooking skills <laughs> even though I'm not going to taste it but never mind so um Tony Cox has also said would you believe I've probably viewed 10,000 profiles loads say nothing yes actually at the beginning of the show we we mentioned um we we did mention that you know um I think sometimes you just get the dry high hi Tony Cox says um, POF has sequences of icebreaker questions that help reduce the type of person you see. So that could be really, really helpful. But I'm sure on that um, icebreaker sequence, it does not ask, do you cook? I'm sure that's not one of the questions that they have there. So I'm going to go. Um, hold on. Oh, Ivel says, thank you for making me think I wasn't being too harsh. It was too early and it wasn't a date. This was just literally uh, as she met him. Wow. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to go into um, Shalomi and then I'm going to go to Cheryl because they've both got their hands up. So Shalomi, how are you doing, my darling? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I, I believe it depends on age when it comes to relationship. It's all about age experience. Asking a woman if she can cook, to me, that's normal. It's like normal asking somebody if they can cook. I think it's just conversation. So it all depends on the person mm. and how you approach things. Because some people like myself, I'll just go ahead and ask stuff. Like when it comes to children, mm -hmm. uh, if 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 I was interested in dating someone, mm -hmm. my children are out of it. I'm not looking a father for my child. I'm not looking carer for my child or nothing. The children are the last bit like 
ears bit. The children don't get involved. I don't want to know your children either. I don't want to say hi to your children. So everyone is different. You get that out the way. So there won't be no complication because when two people already have children and read certain part in eight, it's not 16, 17 and meet up under the cotton tree or the mango tree. It's adults that's been through life and you have experience. So just get to the point and say what you want to say and don't waste time. Because uh, some people are thin skin. Can I cook? Yes, I can cook or I can burn or sometime. It's like like some people can't take, even take a joke. It could be a joke when you cook. Yeah? Like, I'm like, do you have smelly feet? And some people's like, could be a joke you understand so it all depending on people and as you reach certain age you require a different thing you, your experience some older woman is into younger guys some so it's best just get it out the way in my opinion anyway and just thank you thank you tony cox remember guys if you see thank you for that that's a valid point because we are all different we're all different i'm going to bring cheryl in tony cox is saying there are tons of women with just face pictures using filters and Photoshop. Yes, I agree. And likewise for men. But the thing is, do you pick them? That's the question that I have to ask. Is, is that the type of woman that you're going to pick? Because we're looking for, we're talking about looking for the one that we want. The one that, you know, I'm going to unmute Cheryl. Um, we're looking for substance here. So, you know, if I see a picture of a man and he's just got his abs, I'm not messaging him. I'm not interested. Well, you know, what? Uh, is it Kells that was saying earlier that he found it um, wrong that a woman should ask if he's got any children? I actually think it's very important. I think if you're thinking about look, starting a relationship, then I want to know if the man has got children. And I'm quite happy to let him know that I have um, a child as well because for some people it is an icebreaker I've met people that say they don't want to get married or, or to go out with someone that's got children because they want to have their own or they don't want any so they want to know like Shalemi was saying you, you ask questions because you want to know because there's something there's some there are some answers that a man may give you that you don't want to hear he may say I like threesomes <laughs> <laughs> There you go, you might do. There you go. Kelly on did not flinch when you said that. I thought it was just looking like. Okay, Kelly on me. <laughs> you didn't flinch. I do think it's got something to do with, with the age group. I find. I don't know, I've talked to my daughter's friends and, and one of them was seeing a guy for six months. I was like, so is he your boyfriend? No, I, I don't get it. Are you seeing someone else? No, is he seeing someone else? No. I said, so aren't your boyfriend and girlfriend? No, because he hasn't asked me. We haven't made it official. Well, I don't get it. It's, it's a different game. I think mm. under a certain age group, I don't understand it. Yeah, I I, I have to agree there because there are, I think, I think there are questions that you, you ask. I think you have to be mindful of the questions. And I'm going to say this because I dated some, I'm, you know, I'm just putting all my business out here. I dated some, I, I know somebody who is a very lovely person. And the person, actually, we didn't date. So that's, the, let me just retract that. We, I know this person well. And this person showed interest in me which, you know, I was very flattered as a very nice young man. But the thing is, he wanted children. And I had already made up in my mind that that's not something that I would even think about mm -hmm. at this stage in my, in this early stage in my life. <laughs> it's not so it's not something that I would think about. So hence why we are, we have a great friendship, but it will never be anything more than friendship because children is something that he desires and it's not something that I'm prepared to compromise to do. Mm. And so mm. some questions are really important that we ask, but I mm. think it depends on the situation. I think it depends on the person. And I also think it depends on the, the, the circumstance. I 
know this person so we had this conversation and in terms of dating site read the profile the profile will tell you not interested interested you know you've got to if you if you are seriously interested in somebody i think you've got to take the time to read the profile if you're online that's that's just my opinion but mm. you know i hear what you say we, we you there are things and i think earlier on that we said in the show that hold on Guys, we've got four minutes left to the end of the show. Guys, <laughs> oh gosh. those of you who are on the WW dot, let me just say that the conversation has been so quick. Um, it's been so thick and, and rich tonight. So um, I'm just going to do our final goodbyes and then we're going to carry on and, and come off of the um, WW dot. And just to mention that on Friday, on when, on Friday at 4 p.m., we will be um, hosting um, the cooking show. And we've got a featured guest um, and chef is Lyndon Wissart, the inspired diabetic. And this food will be good for you. It will help with high blood pressure. It will help with diabetes as well. And it will be very wholesome and lovely. I just want to say thank you for joining us tonight on the show. Um, guys, I'm going to unmute you all so that you can all say goodbye. Bye. 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 So that is it. That is the, uh, the, the, the panel saying goodbye. And let me just mute you all. And um, just to say thank you, we'll be back here again next week for uh, Conversations After Dark. And it's going to get very dark, very, very dark. I'm sure the conversation is going to get deeper and deeper as the weeks go by. So thank you so much for joining us um, on the show. So we're going to carry on. Um, Right, so Lucia says, you have questions when you sign up that, you're, that you answer with children smoking. If they haven't read your profile and ask on a date, that's poor form. That's what she's saying. I agree. Oh, dear. Uh, Linda is saying, a lady made me scrambled eggs once and it had eggshell in it. It was a big put off. But they... There you go. Sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. Guys, oh gosh, there's so much on this feed. Okay, guys, who's who's come? Who wants to come in? Sorry. Ruth, do you want to come in and say, because you've had experiences this week of dating. So do you want to, is there anything that you want to add? There we go. I'm on meeting you. Thank you. Um, I was looking at the feed, yeah, because I was on mute, couldn't read it. Yeah. <laughs> Tony's put something for you, Yvonne. I so, I want, yeah, I want you to have a look at that one. Oh, um, awesome. Have a look at that. Do you see it? No. He's asking yes, if you yes, I, yes, I have. Okay. I have. Yeah, I have. And I'm surprised you haven't matched. It, I don't think it was. I don't know if it was, but I have seen. Yes, I have seen you on on um, plenty of fish. Yes, I have. I have. But um, I, I think I said hello to you once, and you didn't respond. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. But I, I, um, yeah, I did. Yeah. So I was saying about old pictures. Like mm -hmm. sometimes, like some of the and you can really tell more so now because of the pixels. Yeah, and that you can see straight away it's an old picture. You know that you don't look like that. And I think it's good to like take a picture of you within the last month, in the last couple of weeks, in the last day or two mm -hmm. that you have on your phone. A lot of the times we do take selfies, so I think they're quite adequate to use and put up on your profile and, and just be who you are. Absolutely. So that's my two pence pieces. Oh, <laughs> so, but you know what I wanted to say? My ex-husband asked me about the cooking thing, right? And then told me that he can't cook. So do you know what? It's always good to learn. So it was a learning experience because I said, well, then you're going to learn. Mm -hmm. And he did. He learned to cook and he could cook well. Some of the dishes he made 
were better than mine. That's good. So be open to learning. There we go. Be open to learning. Good. Anyone else? Oh, Kelly is there. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, is this just a response to Cheryl? Um, she said that I was upset with the lady asking me um, about if I had children. Um, it's just echoing what Yvonne was saying earlier as well. It's just about reading the profile. Um, it's, a, it's a waste of time, really, if people are asking me questions that's on my profile already. I, I think somebody asking you as... Um, who was it? Was it Ruth that spoke just now? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody asking you if you can cook, if it's the first date, and I think in a way it's kind of healthy if that person has asked that question face to face, uh, opposed to on the dating app or opposed to on the phone. Um, I think it it may come across a lot better anyway, mm -hmm. because that being written or that being said on the phone the person may take offense. So if somebody asks you, as you're talking, oh, do you cook? You know, you're, you're hearing the person say it, that's words, that's 7% seven, 7 of, of our communication language. The tone, which is 38%, the body language is 55%. So if the person's giving off good energy, then that question will be all right. It'll be fine. Um, so I think, if it's a date that the person's actually on and they're engaging, not bad at all, it's very good. Yeah. Um, but just going back to Cheryl, yeah, now I wasn't upset with the person with asking that question. I thought this question though was very short and it was unnecessary because it's on my profile. So I, I, I am going to eventually be put off if the person then eventually says, okay, thank you, and, get, and give me a thumbs up. Nah. I'm not gonna have it because <laughs> just let's just insult. I think I think Lorraine wants to say something now. I'm, yeah, I'm... I can see Lorraine's hand up. All right, thank you, Lorraine. You're in. Yeah, I was just seeing what Tony Tony Cox has said. He says I I always ask what people think of my profile. I have been told a few times that I've given too much away, so I've removed loads of content. Um. I think sometimes it's good to have something on your profile, but as he says, um, I think giving too much away does not give enough room for having a conversation and getting to know somebody. Uh -huh. um, I think sometimes, you, you know, put your profile down, but leave room for... for um, for a conversation or questions um you don't have to give everything away all at once um because then you don't have anything to really talk about so sometimes you know putting certain things and then they're still asking that question whether they've read it or not it's it's they're just trying to have a conversation um but giving away too much doesn't allow you to do that okay you know? so, so don't so don't give don't give away too much in order to bring in more conversation. Yeah. So, okay. Okay. I mean, I, I agree with Tony. I, I mean, I, I said on, on the feed as well. Um, I have asked people. It, it's funny how people read your profile when they do read it, because there's a perception. Um, could, because when I first started out on, on a website, on this dating site, I had a picture the back of the picture, the backdrop was red. I was wearing a white shirt. It was buttoned up. It was, you know, um, it's a very, very lovely picture, I must say. And I put on my feed that I am an assertive woman. Well, <laughs> well, all I can say to that is, the response I got <laughs> was very awkward at the time because there was an assumption that I was a particular way, like a mistress, like, you know, you know, 
you know, what they call, uh, what's it called? BDSM. Is it BDSM? Yeah, like that. Uh, w- hold on, Cheryl's trying to give me. What is Six, darling. Dominate. That's the word I'm looking for. It just wouldn't come to mind. Yeah, so perception is everything. So it is good to to get somebody to have a look over your profile. And I, I have done. Um, Lucia says, I've met men and not realised it was the same person. Photo on profile was clearly an old one and they had aged overnight. <laughs> <laughs> oh bless your heart <laughs> oh, but that's awful isn't that awful so guys so when we're going online we have to as Ruth said you know use use new pictures I mean some of the pictures um on my profile now they are old but they're not that old but yeah the hair's different the hair's different but yeah we've got to we I've seen I've seen I've had so I've had some some real real dates that I could really talk about but tonight is not the night okay we're gonna bring <laughs> that's Kelly. I'm gonna bring in Shalomi and then Kellyon's gonna come in Shalomi how you doing I'm fine I believe that men over 40 <laughs> yeah they just look old they look most of them not every one of them they look washed up the one that are well kept are the one that are married but the single ones um I think uh, am I saying something wrong? Hello, me. Are you watching the feed? Are you looking at Kelly? I was like, no, no, no. Listen, guys, it's all hot enough here. It's hot enough here in the no. zoo. Kelly was like, not having none of it. So for for me, for me, I yeah. hear lots of people say I'm oh, after a man, and mm-hmm. a lot of a lot of women and men said I'm after his or her mind and I'm no no I look at him and I thought to myself yeah he look he look all right because I'm gonna be honestly like I'm be gonna be 100 percent honest this is gonna sound away but I normally strip them like really has a good bum big belly so you understand and this big belly thing it's not working out like no, I agree with you just <laughs> not working out like yeah so I, I'm not into younger guys. I'm just not into younger guys because I have young boys, grown adult kids, yeah? So I'm not really into it. But I find men like my age, they're just washed up. Like, I'm sorry if I sound away like us, but they don't look you, 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 you meet a guy and his breath. How can you go on a first date and you have bad breath? Like, uh, 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 they, uh, oh! going Shalom, in. You're, you're, you're going in tonight. You're going, you're going in. Tonight. in. You know, that's that's what I'm saying. So a lot of women that keep themselves <laughs> and look after themselves, right? Because mm-hmm. we like to look after ourselves and all of that, right? So we are looking for something like someone that you know that lookable, mm-hmm. lookable. If that's the right word so a lot of people is single and they are looking for something they're not looking for a rich guy not every woman is they're just looking for the guy the one that look presentable not the bang belly you don't turn up in a plaid shirt and a pretty pants or you know something attractive because you want to see you like i don't know to explain it but they're washed up that's the only word i can find men our age the, the one that are well kept, they're married. They, they, they're taken. When you see them well presentable, they are taken. But the ones that are available, they're available for a reason. And nobody want them. Right. No. So <laughs> Kelly, Kelly, are you coming in? I can see Patrick shaking his head like, yes, that's right. Yes, that's right. So who wants to come in? Patrick or, or Kelly? On who's coming in first? Kelly on coming and then Patrick will come in after. Come on, Kelly. Yeah, on. yeah please keep. Both of us on mute. I mean, on mute, yeah, my, my, myself and Shalom, because I want to have a conversation with her, yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. How old do I look to you? I'm not sure if you heard what, how old I said I was earlier, but how old do I look to you? Yeah, but you might not be our type. No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> how old do I look? That's not, that's not the question. No, that's not the question. <laughs> well, you, you, probably, you probably look about 43, 44, because your beard is black. 
Normally, a CPA grey beard. Do I look old? Do I look no, like right no, no? I would tell you, you don't, you don't have white around your mouth. That white around your mouth, that would be a turn up. And your mouth is not white. No, that's that's no, that's that's somebody that's dehydrated. <laughs> no, I'm white talking rice. about the mouth stash. I'm talking about the mouth stash. It's black, okay. and your teeth okay. is white, as far as I can see. So right, okay. yeah, yeah. All right. So, so, so do I? Do I look old? No, you don't look washed up. Okay. All right. Cool. Because you are right. I am 43, 44. You almost. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You look it. That's you're almost contradicting yourself. You just said that around my age, we I look I, I should be looking mash up to you right now. I should be looking I old. Did, I didn't say all men. I didn't say all. I said most of them. The ones that are taken are well kept. M most but of single them. ones. Okay, okay. Well, I'm not taken. I'm actually single. So I might not be your type though, but I'm actually single. I just didn't bun weed hard. Well, I, I've never bun weed in my life, never smoked. Never drank. I was in the church. I was into health and fitness. Um, I was just into being positive. So th there are, and melanin don't crack. Black don't crack either. No, I've seen some black. I've seen some black. That. I'm, How people I'm, look good. I see some black and they're like, there, there wasn't some, crack there are some, But there's many of us. Yes, yes, I've seen them as well. And they've had a hard, rugged life. Unfortunately, some of them did bun hard and smoke hard and do all sorts of things, things hard but as we, we are known we are known for black don't crack but let me let, let me go with you on this as well I've seen some women on Hinge for instance for, for just for a good example 29, 30 years of age maybe sometimes 33, 34 and I'm like oh you look old now nah, I can't and just skip it because they look older than me and that's them being about 29 years old some of them and and I look I look at most of their profile and I'm like, nah, you 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 even carry on like you're old. So I just skip through and I'm thinking, gosh, I mean, I feel like I'm 21 when I look yeah, at but some. For you, for you looking your age, because as I said, I look at you and you didn't have that white around your mouth, the white mouth stash. I see men my age, and when they smile, I see that mouth stash, and I'm like, Hell Are we the you. same age? Are we around the same age? Yeah, I am 43 plus tax. Well, okay, so our age, so when you say, because, because you say my age, it's our age. We are the same okay. age. Okay, our age, but I didn't know your age, you see. You, you, I, I told you, you, you know it. Yes, I, said I know it, it now. I know, I, know it, I know it now, but you no, do no, look your age. Ago. You do look, look your age. I do. I look yeah, you don't look old. I'm, I'm insulted. I'm insulted. Do I don't look 43, 44. I look about 29, 30. Oh, okay. I'm in, anyway, carry on. I'm just um, can I see a six pack? Do you have a six pack? No, I, I'll be honest with you. When I was, let me answer that question. Um, when I was about, maybe about three, four years ago, I made too many smoothies and I, and I didn't go to the gym. And then my, my body said, huh? And it just went all to my stomach and it's been hard to shift afterwards. So yeah, there is something that happens to us. We do, we do get older, don't we? You have to work harder. So I'm, I'm, I'm still working on that. I'm a, I'm a quite energetic. I'm like a 43-year-old who needs somebody that's full of energy. You understand? Like, lots of energy. So, yeah. No, you were talking about my stomach. You weren't talking about energy. I'm full of energy. Oh, okay, of okay, we can work on the rest then. All right. Well, 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 well we, oh, oh, could we get... A, could we exchange details here? This, this, this could be very interesting. <laughs> Come on now, people. Yes, this is what we're talking about now. Yes, come on. It's after midnight now. You know, fourteen minutes past midnight. Come on, Fredrin. Let us. Let us. Let I'm us. I'm gonna go with Patrick. I ain't asking for no number, right? Okay. Okay. I ain't asking no number. I'm just gonna keep on talking until. Yeah, all Until right. Such all right time. So. Nice. This is good. This is good, guys. Guys, listen, you guys are cracking. These people are cracking up. Parita says um, she thinks it's up to the individuals. Um, they, If they want to look good, they'll look after themselves. Um, Yvelle says that a white beard, when groomed, can look good. Uh, I, I actually agree with her. A white beard can, be, can make a man look quite distinguished if, it's, if he can look after himself. Yeah, if it's yeah. nice. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh my days, dating time. 
<laughs> you two get a room. <laughs> Lucia says, you two get a room. <laughs> now, I, I, you know what? A guy hasn't let me blush because I'm one of the fierce ones, but <laughs> he, this room is hot. Like, my windows <laughs> are open. And this room is... <laughs> are you getting that? Hey. Yes, yes things are things are gone. Good, good, good. I'm glad. <laughs> Linda Wissart said he's got lots of energy, but he's married. Okay, Linda, do you want to come in the in the Zoom room? You can come in the Zoom room. You know, I put the the thing on the on the feed if you want to come in, guys. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> uh, but where you know, what do you do to keep? to keep love alive, you know, being married. I know we've, we've heard from Patrick. Patrick. Patrick is a source of information. He is like, you know, I, I just love the hat this week, Patrick. I love it. Last, last week it was a green hat. This, this one, I feel like it's coming to America. <laughs> Isn't it, Patrick? Yeah, it's like, yeah, coming to America, man. I love it, I love it. Great personality, great personality. So guys, as we uh, Patrick, you're you're off mute as well. So you're y yes, yes. Yeah. Cheryl, Cheryl is the girl, man. Cheryl, mm -hmm. yeah. She doesn't date online. No. Cheryl, she don't date online. That's nice. She just she's like me. You know, you meet somebody, you just meet somebody somewhere at a party or somewhere, and then you get connected to the person. I don't do. I never. I never even knew about this line thing until when I've come on here to talk about, you know? I don't do line. I like to see the person face to face, see what they look like and nice. Like Cheryl, very nice, very nice. She's a very nice person. You could tell, you could just tell that she's a nice person. Big smile, it says it all. It says it all. Yeah, so yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's all fun. Yeah, and it's nice to have a bit of fun. It's it nice to talk. And ladies, it's nice to talk, and you know whatever you want, you know, as you say, you keep go, you go and you look and the profile and thing. Why, if I had to do a profile, <laughs> that'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> fun because oh, here we go, we got the oh. ladies guessing. Because my picture, what thirty odd years ago, yeah. oh, my picture that was it was a different picture. Was like a, I was like a little boy, mm -hmm. you know, I was a little boy. I got married. I got married, I was 23 when I got married. My wife Ooh. was 21, you know? So, and you know, so when you're getting married that sort of age and, and the lady's right, the, the good ones are gone, yes? Mm -hmm. But there's still some guys out there that um, they haven't got there yet, but they will get there, they they'll get there. Thank because you, Patrick. A lot of the time we're looking for our own, you know? And that's another thing. If you're, gonna look, if you're looking for your own lady, as I said already, there's a lot of black women out there and them fiesty, but you know what? It doesn't matter to me. As fiesty as they are, it don't matter. Okay, so we've got to uh, Tony Cox is here. Uh, I see, it's like, you're, it's like you're jumping. I don't know what's going on. But hi, Tony. Welcome to the Zoom room. So, <laughs> hang on, let me just, let me just. How are you doing, Tony? You're, I'm good, thank you. Good, 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 good. So this is Tony, guys. Those of you who are just like, oh, we've got more people coming in the Zoom room. Come on in, come on in. Oh, hi, Perita. How are you doing? We are getting more. I listen. Um, I'm looking for some men to come in this room. All right. I mean, everybody's welcome, but I, I would really like some men to come in this room. This is good. This is good. This is good. Ivil, are you coming in the room? You may as well come in the room. The feed is, the link is on the feed. So, okay. So, Tony. Yes. Yes. So, give us your, your, your thoughts so far on, because uh, on, you've been on the dating sites as well. And, um, are you happily dating now or in a I'm relationship? Not, I'm, I'm, I'm not at the moment because I'm on, I'm on isolation. Right. <laughs> so so is it just dating, because... So let me explain. Happily dating means that I'm seeing someone on a physical basis. I'm in front of them at a dinner table or 
sat at a cinema or something like that. That isn't mm -hmm. happening. So that that is shut off. Isolation is in place. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm going to say, like, I've listened to a lot of things, yeah? Um, clearly, different things apply to different people. Um, you know, let's, let's put my scenario. If I'm a black man looking for a black lady on a site that has probably 95% white ladies on it, mm. it's a problem. Yeah, then you'd have to try to attract those few black ladies with something in your profile that makes you attractive to them. So you have to say, you know, look, I'm, I'm look, I can cook, or you know, I'm, I'm, I'm an athlete, or I like music and I like dancing and I like traveling and I like, you know, all these things that to me are the things that are icebreakers for a lot of women because they're gonna look on the profile and go, hmm, he's a healthy guy, that's good, we like that. He likes dancing, great, that's good. He likes to travel, great, that's even better. So they give away certain characteristics that make hopefully somebody look out there and go, yeah, he's the type of guy that I wanna have a conversation with. Now, as I said to you previously, I found that I was giving away too much because I was telling the women my whole, pretty much my life story but I'm the kind of guy that has got so much life experience that even if I tell you my life story in a in a, in a small sort of um couple of chapters I could still be talking to you for another six years before I repeat something because I've got that many stories to tell I'm quite you know worldly in that I've, I've had a lot of worldly experiences um but even although I've done that, and I consider myself not to be the, the, the ugliest of fellas, and I've got a couple of topless shots in, in, you know, just to show, you know, look, I have still got the shape. Yeah, the, the, the pack is there, you know. Um, it still doesn't mean that I'm getting women knocking on my door left, right and centre. So for me, you know, some days I go on, and I'm like, I'm looking and I'll be like, okay, let me try and find this ideal woman scrolling through profile after profile after profile. And then some days you're like, oh man, loudest. I just want to cut to the chase. Let me just go look for the good looking woman then and just swipe, 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 swipe. Oh, tick hello. Swipe, 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 swipe. Oh, tick hello. So you just end up at some days just going, I can't be asked with this spending hours looking through people's profile. I don't have the time for it, yeah? And if my success ratio is like one in a hundred of yeses to a reply, then it's pointless sometimes me spending hours looking at people's profile. Now, clearly, um, different apps have different um, technologies in them. So for instance, as I've said in, in the chat, Hinge, you can't tell your story. You're given about six lines in which to say, I do this, I do that, I do this, I do that. I'm five foot seven and I have brown eyes. And that's it. You can't tell them whether you've got children. You can't tell them whether you want children because that's an icebreaker for a lot of women. You can't tell them whether you like um, Chinese food or you can't tell them whether you're an athlete or your athletic body or you're carrying a few extra pounds or... You know what I mean? All these things that are on other sites aren't on Hinge, for instance. So you kind of go, well, which one do I want to work with? Well, for me, I'm going to work with both because it's a numbers game. Yeah. Online dating is a numbers game. You have to do the hard work. You have to go through the trillions of, of different women out there. And eventually, hopefully, you're going to find one that ticks a box and you can go, I tick the same box and then you can start a conversation. Now, the next thing is, a lot of women, they wanna talk online for like three months. And I'm like, I'm not interested in that. Listen, if you wanna ch chat with me, yeah, I'll take a week of chatting before I'm saying, I wanna hear your voice. I wanna see you like in the flesh, perhaps on a, a, a coffee um, shop, and let's have a chat in person. Mm -hmm. I don't want to spend 
six months chatting, tapping, 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 before I eventually meet you, and then I find out you're not the person I thought that you was. So that's <laughs> my that's my sixpence worth. Okay, so we've got somebody else who's just come in, Karaoke X. Hello, who are you? How are you? You're not talking? Karaoke X. Okay. All right. So thank you, um, Tony. I think you made some valid points there. Um, but I think because I do know, I think, I think online dating can work if you want it to. Because I do know people who have had successful relationships online i personally haven't but i do know people who have so i think and and at one stage i i, I one of my clients actually um we we did this uh like a challenge and she went on online and she's actually been with her partner for over two years now and is really really happy they're a really really happy couple thank you my darling um so wonderful thank you very much that, that my daughter just brought me a, a um a glass of water if you believe me it's an alcoholic beverage okay thank you very much so so yeah so i think i think it can work but i think it's about what you you having that intention of what you really really want um i think that it's um you know, look, Tony, Tony on the feed has got Tony. You made me giggle so much. Look at that. You're making women giggle in in the room. That's got to be a, a good thing. Who knows? Oh, Kelly on. Yep, yep, yep. Who knows what will happen after this? Hello, Kelly on. How you doing? Yeah. Um. I remember I asked a question last week. This um this meeting that we're having tonight on Zoom is also we meant to answer the question about yes. going down. Oh, absolutely. So once we get to that place, yeah, well, we started off by saying who asks who, who's, who's supposed to initiate? Um, and I think we had, um, we had a relationship coach in the feed um, earlier on, and she was saying it's, you know, it's the world has changed and it's equal, equal opportunities. So you know, if you feel the need that you want to ask somebody, then you should ask. Um, there should be nothing to hold you back. But likewise, because we are preparing, right, guys? So you've mentioned, some of you have mentioned a few sites. So what I would like you to do is those of you who are on dating sites that are working, put them on the, um, on the feed so that we can see, because there is a task coming right? Because I know that some of you may connect in this group. I, I have a feeling, a feeling coming from the heavens, that there will be some connections going on within the group. But at the same time, there are still those who have to do, we are going to do the task, and we are going to look for the person so that we would like to have a conversation we're just doing conversation at first and then we are going to look at the etiquette of okay what's the next move and as tony was like saying you know he doesn't want to wait for three months to to to, to get a number but how long is that time because you have to go through the stages because we want to get to the point of where who pays for what who who who's doing it you know are, are we going dutch or are we, um, are we, are you paying or am I paying? Who's paying? And I think by the time we get out of the lockdown, we have to have that nailed, most definitely. Because if we're, if we're abiding by the law and we're saying that we are not, we're staying at home, we are being safe, the connection that you're going to be building up is going to be online via FaceTime or, or whatever. And if you are adhering to what Patrick is saying, you may even write a letter or an email. That's a nice picture that just came up of you, um, 
Tony. Full of teeth. Very lovely. Yes. You look very happy. Very, very happy in that picture. So, yeah. So, so right. So, I've got all. Oh, so, here we've got POF coming up. Black Cupid. Um, so, these are sex sites. So, we want to be make, we want to make sure that we are ready. And so, by the time we are out of lockdown, are we going to be saying who's paying? Are we going to be there or are we going to be further forward? Tony wants to come in. Yes, Tony. Okay. So, I just heard that horrible site, Black Cupid. I thought that was my, I thought that was going to be a dream come true. A site dedicated to black women trying to find black men. Oh my gosh, how mistaken could I be? It was literally a case of white women thought that this was the place that they could find their man dingo. Because oh. it's about a million white women on that site. And it's the place that literally I had to turn myself off of it because I was like, this is not what was advertised on the tin. Right. Okay, so 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 Tony, so I'm gonna just ask you straight. So you are from my perception of what you've said today, you are looking for a black woman. Is that right? That's right, that's correct. Okay, wonderful. Okay. There are many sisters on this feed. Yes, come on, somebody, come on. Let us do something about that. Because you know what? What I'm going to say is this, right? Is that sometimes what you're looking for is right under your nose. So I'll say that. I just thought I'd just say that. It's right under your nose. So we have to start, and Patrick saying, that's right. That's right. Yes, Patrick. <laughs> I think, I think sometimes we're looking, at, at me included, I'm not excluding myself, um, we're looking at all of these things externally, but actually what is there is right in front of you, but maybe sometimes it's not, it's not blatant, so you don't actually see that person there, and maybe, so this is good for us to all talk about this and be open and frank and honest about what we are doing guys those of you guys on facebook how are we doing how are we doing guys are we good guys i want to thank you for still staying with us on facebook if you have any questions i know that is it Ivil was like saying she's she's um not appropriately dressed but uh we don't need to see what you got on. We, you know, you, and actually, you could come on and just do audio if you wanted to. We don't actually have to see your face. You can actually come on on audio as right. well, just if you wanted to. So thank you, guys. So you could come on and just do audio if you wanted to. We don't actually have to see your face. You can actually come on on audio as right. well, just if you wanted to. So thank you, guys. So... Right, so, okay, so I'm getting some feedback, I was getting some feedback, I could hear myself. So, okay, so Kellyon was like saying about um, who, who pays. So let's give a scenario and let's see, because we've got three men here and the rest of us are female, but let's see what we come up with. So the scenario is this, you've met somebody online, you like them, you found them interesting, you've started off by speaking to them, um, via the site, you've gone on to WhatsApp, you've been WhatsApping, and now you've gone on to video call, you, you like what they look like, how they present themselves, conversation is good. And so we are now in lockdown. I'm coming to you, Lorraine. We're now in lockdown. Lockdown's over, and you want to meet. Right, so here are the scenarios. The first place you meet, the first thing you do, you go one, you go out for a drink, two, you go out for a meal, three, you go to the pictures. Which one is it that you're gonna do? First of all, which one is it that you're gonna do? You're talking anyone to me. Can, uh, anyone can come in. Right, my, my mic is on, so, um, so I might as well just quickly say, you asked a good question there. Um, I think sometimes it really is, it just determines on how the conversations have, has flowed. 
Um, going for a drink would be ideal because uh, it's not expensive. And if I let you into something, because it can be expensive for men, I've had to join <laughs> Groupon and Woucher, which brings down the cost a lot. <laughs> Rupert's <laughs> laughing. A lot. What could be 60, 70, 80 pounds is now, only, is now about 15, 20 pounds. You know? Um, so it cuts it down. And I'm, I'm okay to actually spend that. Um, so I've even had it where I've got on with the person quite well that we went and did something that was quite adventurous that was more than that. But I was happy to spend that. But right. it just... It just seems there seems to be an attitude of that it's the man that pays for it uh, for the first date. Mm -hmm. And something that I've gone along with, because out of tradition. Yeah. I, I had it on one date where I spent, I, and I'm embarrassed to say this, it's just the way how the, um, the, how the date went. It wasn't even meant, I was meant to just go for a drink and she didn't even want to roof's laughing hard, you know. I didn't even want to want to. I just wanted to go to this place for a drink. She said, "No, nah, it's just too close to home. Let me show you where we can go." <laughs> Boy, took me to a place where, yes, I was spending, <laughs> and you just kind of go with the flow. And then after that day, she even told me where to drop her off. You know, I mean, oh, I'm I'm going to my brother's sister's house, and it's like, you know. So anyway, anyway. I didn't get to see her again. I spent like over 50 pounds, like 60 pounds. And I thought never again, because that money, if I gave it to my to my girl children, okay, at least I'll see it back at some point. Maybe not straight away, but at some point I'll see it back. But with this lady, never see her again. And normally, once again, I normally do, do the whole group of match thing and it's cool. But this time it's like I was like like an ox to its slaughter. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got slaughtered with aim for this thing but yeah but once again though this is this is the main point there just seems to be this um this tradition that it's the man that pays for it and, and that needs to stop in my personal opinion maybe patrick can come in on this i mean maybe tony as well but that nonsense just needs to stop um thankfully i had one young lady that I spoke to, um, <laughs> Ruth's laughing hard, <laughs> spoke to about a week or about two, no, no, actually it was about a month ago. She said that, you know, we can um, play a game to see who who's going to buy the drinks first. I thought, okay, fine. Just, I'm glad she's, she put that one forward. And then we, we even got talking about about the whole thing of who should buy the drink first and I will, I will end with this or buy the meal of this or buy the meal. I, she's, she's the one that actually chased me on Hinge. So I'm like, well, if that's the case, then you should now be taking me out for a meal. No, no, I don't. Well, why not? Because you chased me. So, so it's like, no, I just liked your picture. Right. So if I liked your picture, would that be me? Would that be me pursuing you? Yes, it would. Okay. But you liking my picture? That's not you pursuing me. No, it's not. Right. I, yeah, yeah. I, I, have I, hope to, I have to bring it. Me I liking, have to. Me, me liking the picture was me pursuing her, but her liking my picture, no, that's just her just liking my picture. Oh, I have to bring in Ruth because Ruth is like having hysterics here. Hard. I love Ruth. Hard. hard. <laughs> I'm bedding up. I'm so sorry because you know I'm hearing it from the other perspective. <laughs> or maybe you should go to someone else because I I can't control. I'm laughing so hard. All right, carry on. I feel like the girl with the sixty pack. Yeah, it's that's all been coming in it. <laughs> yeah, that is just a bit yeah. too far. But oh my gosh. I think it's quite funny. Maybe the first date should just be drinks mm -hmm. yeah. and and continue the conversation, you know, then move on to, to dinner. But <laughs> in terms of the, the whole paying thing, well, it's not, I don't, I don't pay, you know, I don't even open up the door, <laughs> you know, the last day I had. It was a Starbucks day before the lockdown. You know, he's now still not well, but coming through the door, I didn't touch the door. You know, 
when I've got to the table, I've got my hand sanitizer. I'm wiping up the table while you're buying the drinks. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I need to go to the loo. I'm using tissue to open up the door. <laughs> you know, I, I actually done pretty well with the social distancing. But God, you guys are giving me jokes. I don't know if it's because, you know, you guys have got experience. You've done this more than once. So I can hear the the tonality of it is just creasing me up sorry guys i'm not laughing at you i'm laughing at the whole experience and and how tedious it can be at times i do feel like once you're kind of in something you should be able to go dutch and and stuff like that but i i would need to learn that i suppose because i've not had that I've not had to mm. That's my I, I think that's a, that's a key of what you just said there, Ruth. You haven't had to. You have to. Yeah. And so uh, one of the reasons why, and I'm still going to pose the question out again. So your date, you have three options. One, do you go out for a drink? Two, do you go out for dinner? Or three, do you go to the pictures, right? Drink. The three. So Ruth is saying drink. So Shalomi's got her hands up. So I'm going to go to Shalomi. And our Shalomi... What, which one would you which one would you pick uh, uh, normally if I'm going on a date I'll go somewhere where I can afford it because I remember going on a date once in a good while and the guy card declined yeah yeah, so yeah. Well, yeah I've had that before I always make sure I have my cards on me and I'll pick, so I always pick the place somewhere that I know that my card can afford. And I won't be screaming tomorrow that I just use the kids' bread money, go buy some stupid. And I do not believe in going on a date and buying a bottle of wine for how much pound or whatever. Right? I don't believe in it. I don't believe in going to, to some restaurant, eating some uncooked, unseasoned food that costs whatever so there are certain things that i don't believe in and i don't go to certain restaurants because if the food is seasoned with pepper and salt i won't be eating it if the chicken is not washed i'm not touching it so i'm a bit funny when it comes to going on this date thing i'd rather have a conversation even more than eating because when it comes to certain places i just rather not the wally nice but get to know somebody have somewhere you can talk and as I said if I can't afford it I'm not going into no restaurant where a bottle of wine costs how much uh, how much a matter of fact you just spend 60 pound do you spend do you work 60 pound an hour so that's the first thing I'm gonna ask why am I gonna spend a man 60 pound in less than a an hour and I'm not working 60 pound an hour so it's for me, uh, I live by the rules because I don't take embarrassment. I'm too cute to go in a restaurant and none of us have the cash to pay for it. Yeah, so okay. I don't play certain games. So, so, so which one out of the three? Because you've got three choices. I would rather go for a drink. And the drink I'll order, as I said, it's a low budget one because I don't want to waste a drink on a guy that I think, why did I leave my yard? Uh -huh. And I don't mind paying because, as I said, I'm not paying more than five pounds or I'm like that straight up. Yeah. OK. What I forgot to ask Ruth is, would you buy a round of drink? At the, of, course the... I buy, of course I buy my, of course, like, of course mm. I buy my round of drink. Like, okay. that's not that's cool. in, that's Who else wants, who else <laughs> wants to, to put some input in, into this? you got the three options. Patrick's coming in. So you've got the three options. You've got drink, dinner, pictures. Yes, Patrick. Oh. Well, I must okay. admit, first date, first date, you want to know her and talk, pictures. Right at the back of the, right at the back of the pictures, watching some movie and just laughing. The lady was just laughing most of the time. I, I went out, no. At that time, you couldn't, you could, you, the picnic, the, the lady come around with a basket with the, uh -huh. with the drinks and that in it. Yeah. And oh, so we're talking some time ago, Patrick. No, I'm, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, ladies, if, you know, you don't like this sort of style, you know, but that's how my father um, taught me. I'm a gentleman. I paid for the popcorn and I paid the lady for the drink. Uh -huh. I paid, I, I paid for the drinks and I paid for the popcorn and that's that's how it is. I'm not a 
I'm, I'm, I'm eating out posh places now. And the lady, when the, when the food comes to the table, the lady, obviously, she, she, if she, whatever she wants, she have it. And I've always been the person to put the money to pay. In fact, in all fairness, I've been married 37 years. And in the 37 years, the lady doesn't even know what I pay because she's never seen me pay. I disappear somewhere and gone pay. Okay. She'd never, she'd never seen me pay for anything. She don't know how much a food costs. She don't know that. This, this I, is real chivalry. That. This is real chivalry. Yeah, she knows. She don't know that. See, I always when the, when when the lady says when they say bring, I went to a, another thing. I went to a dinner once, and there was huh? nine men in the room. After I've take so much time to get these men to take their their wives out, I've got them all around in one room now, right? And when it came to pay. Um, the men were saying, all right, ladies, put out your money. I said, no, no, you don't do that. You, no, 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 no. So anyway, the ladies got, all right, we don't mind paying. We don't mind paying. So by the time them put their money on the table, it never even make 10 pound. And the dinner was over 100 pound. It never, so what's the point? So no, nah, I've okay. never been in a place where the lady is paying for, if she wanted to buy me a, I mean, the ladies bought me a car. She went out and bought me a car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's different. If she wanted to buy me a present, that's different. I can't okay. say to her no. I said yes, thank you very much. She bought me a, and not long ago she bought me a mini a van, a, a, mm -hmm. a transporter. She bought me the van. Mm -hmm. right? I'm not going to say to her no, no, no. I don't want it. And if she buys me any presents, that's, that's different. But when we go out for dinner, I usually pay for the dinner. Okay. I, I have to have money in my pocket, extra money too. Especially if I'm going with, if, if I'm walking with my brothers, because I know some of them, some of them young boys don't want to carry no money or they don't want to let their money leave their pocket. I've got to have money. I've got to make sure I've got money to cover them too, just in case. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Patrick is a real old school um, person who thinks you, you take your training from your dad. And I think your dad has trained you very, very well. Um, you are, I think, a dying breed. To, not literally but I think I don't think that there's many men um, that are younger than you that have the same philosophy maybe in your age catchment yes but I think you you might find one and two who are younger that that have that same philosophy of life but I I think it's to be admired I think it's lovely um and I you know every woman regardless of what she says wants to feel like her her partner is is looking after her they do it, it and and i think it works both ways the, the man looks after his his lady the lady looks after his man and vice versa it's just you know i think it's really important that there is a mutual respect so we've got two going for a drink one for pictures so i want to know what because i'm going to tell you what actually the best thing to do is on a first date but I want to hear what you guys are thinking what you would prefer um and both ladies who have said that they would rather go out for a drink are willing to put their hands and buy around a drink mm -hmm. so so oh, okay we're gonna bring in Ivil. okay Hello, my darling. We all the way Hi. from Barbados. How are you, darling? I am fine. You made me stop studying. If you want to take a peek at my surrounding, I don't know if you can see it. Oh wow! Bless your heart, <laughs> darling. But um, when it comes to dating, I I honestly believe the man is not your husband. Uh, I honestly believe it's the man's role yet to take care of the woman but you are not his wife especially not on a first date i think the choice should be like you decide when you go out you know some women are turned off and put off if a man is inviting them out to a first date and he's like okay you know what we're gonna split the bill some men wait until you get there you sit and then decide we're gonna split the bill which mm -hmm. is terribly wrong because you don't know if the woman has money in her purse right. um caribbean parents though always tell you walk with Vex money so you always make sure you have money when you're going out with a man especially if you don't know him um however personally for me if the guy is taking me out on the first day it'll be better if he 
comes up for the first beat, it'll make a good impression on his end. However, for the second date, I would say, okay, I'll take care of you on this date. Because I don't believe, because um, even if whether he has money or he doesn't have money, as a man or a woman, you want uh, someone that is going to show interest in you. That you know this person will be there with you, they'll take care of you, and it's just not me putting in all the time. I'm not saying it should be 50-50 because no relationship is 50-50. But if you are showing good intentions and you are considering someone for a relationship, then you should show that person, I'm not here to take only. Yeah, so that's my input. Thank you for that. I, 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 you made some really good points in there. And I know that there are many, many women on here that will have, if they are going out, they, they walk with their Vex money. <laughs> Can I have see a thumbs up with, for the women in here in this feed that walk with Vex money? <laughs> I know I, I do. I've always, always done that. So you've made some really good, valuable points. I, I'm going to ask you, if you had the choice out of going for a drink, dinner and picture, which, which, which one would it be for the first date? Drink, dinner or picture? Mm-hmm. Did I say I'm old school? <laughs> you did. You did. Okay, so um, let's see. Drink. It depends because um, over drinks, you may say things too early that you don't want to say. Mm -hmm. I'm not someone who can hold drinks. I'm not a drinker. So I might say some things that are very harsh or I may say some things that are very silly or too forward or that you don't even need to know on a first date. So I wouldn't prefer I would not prefer to go for drinks on a first date. A guy asked me out once for drinks. I was like, red flag, and I didn't go. Okay, that's um, interesting. Because I find what a lot of men do, they take you out for drinks in hope that you become intoxicated, really intoxicated, where your decision making kind of could become impaired. You know, so I try them. I know myself, I'm not a drink holder. So unless I know you uh, a little bit more, I mm -hmm. wouldn't be going to drink with you. Okay. Uh, dinner is nice, but, <laughs> oh God, people are going to think I'm hard in here now. Dinner is nice, but people can be too pretentious over dinner. Mm -hmm. I don't know if, if I'm choosing the correct word. Um, no worries. And on the, the, it depends on the place that you choose to take the lady. It can it can work for you or it can work against you. So I would say leave dinner for when it's a bit more serious. Okay. A so movie, you've only got pictures. You've got movies. A movie. I want to get to know you. I can't get to know you in a movie. But you've only got you three choices. Talk. You've only got three choices. No, you've I'm going to, to get the one that I prefer. I prefer mm -hmm. something social, like let's go for a walk in the park. I love the outdoors. So right, for me, so I would prefer a walk in the park. Let's go to the beach. Let's go hiking if you're into that. Something to that ex extent. Okay. That's I want to get to know you. I want to be able to talk with you. I want to be able to see, you know, you in a natural state right. where your guard is down and I can just see you. Okay, I've got people who are messaging me on WhatsApp who are listening in and they're saying, what a sweet Bayesian lady. Oh, isn't that lovely? <laughs> thank you. Thank you, my darling. Thank you. Okay, so who is going? No, it's Cheryl said she wanted to come next. Hello, my darling. Hi, darling. I was going to say, I, I actually agree with Ivo. I would have, mm -hmm. My first date would not be any of those three. I prefer to do something sociable or, or go bowling or something like that. Because, uh, and also I'm, I'm not adverse for a first date to, to go Dutch. That way there's no expectation on either side. <laughs> right, so you go on a social, so I'm gonna put social event. So who's paying, you or them, or are you going Dutch? Well, I, I think probably Dutch actually on a first date. And, uh, you know, I'd like to do something either, either, like she said, meeting on the beach, go for a walk, 
go, you know, get okay. to play a game, do something. But um, I'm, I'm not adverse to, to, to going Dutch. But I think that if you, if you're, if a man is going to invite a lady out, then I, I think if he expects her to go Dutch, then he should say and, and not leave it as a surprise. But, um, right. Okay. But I will. I would offer. You would offer. Thank you, Cheryl. Um, Ivil, are you prepared to go Dutch on that social event? Sorry? Are you prepared you to pay? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm not a Barbadian terminology. Uh, yeah. Dutch is where you, you both pay, you split it half, half and half. Like I said, I wouldn't have a problem with splitting. Mm -hmm. But I want to know that this man, if it goes somewhere serious, I want to know that he is going to be willing to take care of me. But this is a first date. It, I wouldn't mind it, but if he is looking to create a good first impression, I would say he should pay. Right, so you're, you're not going to, so you're saying he should pay. Okay. For a first. He should I pay. I don't mind afterwards being the person to say, oh, hey, let's go X, Y, Z, and I got you covered. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So I'm going to bring in, did Carol, Carol, Lorraine, did you want to say something? I can't see you, love. Did you want to say something, babe? Yeah, I, 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 I totally agree with Ivil as well. Um, I'm not, I'm not a drinker, really. Um, but drinks doesn't necessarily mean you're having alcoholic drinks. I know. Perception. But... It's, you're just going coffee, drinks. Is a dr a drink is turkey. coffee, coffee, a tea or something like that. Yeah, meet at a park. Yeah, have a conversation. Going to the cinema, you're not, you're not. To me, you're not really interacting. You're watching a film. Um, you're there to watch a film, so you're not really interacting. Um, um, going out for drinks. Yeah, I hear what you're saying, but I'd rather go for a coffee or meet up somewhere in the park, something sociable, and okay. get to know you in that way. Because then you can body language is always a um, it when you're having a conversation, you always get body language with that person. Mm -hmm. You can see how they're flexing with you, and vice versa. You know if there's a connection or not. Um, mm -hmm. So. The, the, the three that you mentioned, um, I wouldn't do that at first. Um, and as for going Dutch, I mean, I did go on a, a meet-up one day, well, last year, and he offered to pay. But I did bring my money um, because I don't like walking without any money anyway. And I did offer to go Dutch, you know, or offer to pay. Um, it wasn't a problem. He, he insisted and that was that. And I thought that was quite nice of him. Okay, but would you pay? Would, would you I be pay? prepared to pay on your first date to go somewhere like a coffee? Would you buy a round? Would you buy him? Yeah, you bought your coffee, you buy him a coffee. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. All right, because I'm, I'm, I'm keeping tabs on this. Right, I want to come into some of the men. Kelly, no, I'm going to leave you a minute. Or do you want to come in? <laughs> I was gonna I was gonna go to Tony and then go to Kelly on. Because I want to hear what some of the guys have got to say. Hi Tony, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? I'm wonderful. So okay. his, the scenario is drinks, dinner, picture, social event like bowling or something like that. Though because okay. we've had to add that because you know the, the ladies have added another one. Yeah, so, it's fine, it's fine. I mean my my um my go-to is always try just a coffee shop you know I think going for drinks can get expensive and it also means that you're putting someone at a potential dangerous uh, situation you know because if you go into drinks and you say well I'll tell you what we'll have two drinks two drinks could turn into three and three could be that person's limit um, whereas a coffee is just it's just an innocent situation. You go, you have coffee. Um, you know, if if you find the right location, you can go for a nice walk in the park and sit down and have a coffee at the coffee shop. 
Mm-hmm. You know, that's my ideal. You go and you go and you, 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 you walk, you know, you, you, you just conversate. Obviously, the, you by the time you've got to that point where you're meeting someone, you've normally spent like, you know, weeks chatting online, maybe some FaceTime and that kind of stuff. Mm. So you've got a fairly um, reasonable understanding of this person. All you're wanting to do at this stage is solidify that what I've been speaking to you online about, whether it be text or by voice, is real because you're going to meet this person. You look like you, you know, the person that I see online and everything else stacks up, you know. Um, But we don't want to make it um, a situation where I'm sitting next to you and watching someone for an hour and a half, two hours, and we haven't said a word. That's pointless to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, A social event, again, you know, great, but wait till the second date. Wait till the third date. Let's just get the first initial bit out of the way. As far as I'm concerned, I want to get to that point as soon as possible because I don't want to spend three months investing in a person to find out that wasn't you know anywhere close to the person that I wanted to be with you know so I just think go out meet and have a coffee and then go from there your first date is an hour it's just like you know let's go chat for a little while let's see how we get on with one and one another actually in front of one another because sometimes people they chat for all day on text you meet them and they clam up. They can't talk. And you're like, well, what's happened to that talkable person that I was talking to for weeks and weeks? And all of a sudden, you don't talk. Okay, so which one we, so you which one are you going Coffee for? Coffee shop. Coffee, Coffee shop. shop. So we're gonna and are you prepared to pay or go, go Always. Dutch? Always. All right, Always. cool. I mean, many Thank a time, you. if the person, if the woman decides she wants to reach out and, and pay, I'm paying for the first drink, regardless. That's the given. You know, right. on the second one, that you know, if you want to pay, I'm, I'm cool with that. Okay. Lovely. Who's going next? Thank you, Tony. Oh, I did actually say Kellyon, and then I'll go to Shalomi. Kellyon, how you yeah, doing? I'm, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm like Tony. I, I have this attitude of um, paying, paying first. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's my attitude. Uh, it, yeah. it would be good for drinks, just to answer your question. It would be drinks or coffee. Uh, but I do think, as what Ruth said, um, it's learnt behaviour that women now need to learn um, that they, they do need to contribute. That narrative now needs to change. <laughs> Because, I can see some of the ladies are Cheryl's, Cheryl's laughing. Cheryl's <laughs> laughing. Cheryl, why are you laughing? Hold on. Cheryl, why are you laughing? <laughs> it's Ruth. Ruth is making everyone laugh tonight. Everyone's laughing. But I hear you, Kelly. On. Okay, okay, okay. And I know that you're you're prepared to pay as well. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So who else has? Who hasn't got? Shalomi, you were next, weren't you? Okay, my darling. So you've got, so what I'm doing is I've got drinks. So your drinks is coffee, is drinks. Any no, drink I, that got on your throat. I did, drink. I did, I did say drink, but I hear, um, was it, um, Tony said, go on a drink and um, three is your limit and you get drunk or something like that. It's not an alcoholic drink. You don't have to be an alcoholic drink. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm just saying like Tony, is it Tony? Yeah. If you go out with an adult and they get drunk on the first day, you just leave them right where they are. I can't see two people going out on a date. I go out on a date with a guy and, and he get drunk. I would block him wherever I meet him. I would just block him. And um, like, you just realize that you have just wasted what our hours of what God given you and somebody that is not watching. You go on a first date and get drunk. Like, <laughs> sorry. It's crazy. Oh, Shalomi, you've got M in it. It's like that. <laughs> you just dropped it there, man. You dropped the mic. No, but in it's reality, life, in reality, oh. life, yeah, you meet me and we'll go out on a date. 
right? Because you yeah. go out on a date. The thing I hate about date, people pretend they dress up pretty and everything. So you don't even get to see the real person anyway. Yeah. But anyway, you go out all your thing, get your nice wig on and your good suit and shave up, put on perfume and go all the extra mile, right? And we go out for a drink and you're drunk and start chatting rubbish. It's like, I just wasted like, I'm done. I'm done. I don't get that one. I... <laughs> Shalomi. <laughs> there is no one like you, my darling. It's I no love you. To be acting oh. cute. You go on the date, even uh-huh. as a man. I love a man acting cute, you know. Okay. Like. You are cute. You, any woman go on a date, you, are, you don't even chew your bone. And I love chewing my bone. I wouldn't chew my bone on the first day. I want to chew my bone until about six months in the relationship. Yeah? Six. I, would chop, I would chop those bone with grief. And I love chewing my bone. So you're going to like, you get me. But on the first date, you get drunk or tipsy and chat gibberish. OK. OK. Oh, you know what? All I can say, yeah, is this. When you go on a date, be yourself. Don't, just be yourself because that's the person that the person wants to... to and it might be But we love to... ourselves. We do say be ourselves, but come on, we be a bit cute, innit? Yeah, yeah of course we're going to be cute on the first couple of dates. Do you know we, what? We be cute on the first couple of... We, give, we all back some and we give a blitter. We don't give away everything i'm gonna be honest on my date i extra brush my teeth i'm out wash myself i carry spray and i go to the bathroom and i spray i'm not even gonna lie i'm 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 not gonna lie when i'm comfortable with the person i do different things but when i'm getting to know the person i'm gonna be honest yeah, this weekend coming off i'm sleeping in it for the first year simple i'm not i'm not taking it off you're not seeing my real face you're not seeing my factory setting face i'm gonna sleep in my wig i know this i know this we've had this conversation before but it is what it is right yeah yeah so guys as you you've heard it the wig is not coming off for the first year uh-huh. My daughter's here. She's she's <laughs> she said good night, everybody. Good night. Bye night. Good night. Yeah, she's saying good night. <laughs> you have to have control. When you're going on a date, you have to have control. Because you uh-huh. have to remember there are some um rum goat out there. They're just looking for something to ram. And if you if you make yourself available, they're gonna ram you. So if you drink two and they realize three, they can get away with you. They're gonna do it because not everybody wants somebody. Some people just want a one and move, right? Not even two, one and move. And if three drink can get let them have the one and move, they're gonna buy you the three drink. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So it it all depends. You have to be able to groom yourself to know that not every man out there that say they wish you well no they don't they just want to get in your panties simple mm-hmm. it's, it's just as that mm-hmm. and if three drink get them in it they're gonna buy you four wow. That's <laughs> well you have heard it here first tonight if it take three they're gonna buy you four listen guys okay so who hasn't spoken about their Paritha? you haven't I'm going to come to you. Hello, my darling. Hello, how are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm okay. Looking well. Right. Thank you, darling. So are you. So here we've got, we've got four options. It was three, but now there's four. So you go I'm, out. I'm with Cheryl and Ray. Oh, so the, the Dutch and social. Yeah, duh. Okay. You know, Fantastic. I think you've got to be an individual and you don't know anyone. At the mm-hmm. So you've got to... You know, I to go Dutch because you don't know someone's situation, especially in, in the now, like not traditional, but in the now, you don't know anyone's situation. So it's better to be fair. Yeah. You both choose okay. to go out. So if you both work, pay it. Simple. Right. Okay. So who, that's, that's fair. So actually we are running level with social. Also, 
And also, I believe everyone's an individual. It doesn't matter if you're single or married. You, you know, before uh, Naomi was saying, I think if you're gonna you want to look, make yourself look good, you're doing it for yourself. Whether you're married or single, doesn't matter. Mm. But you know, people think they're married, you get looked after. Well, no, Absolutely. we're all individual. Before you're anyone, you have your own identity. So mm -hmm. then you're something else to everyone else. So do it for yourself. Love yourself first before you love anyone else. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we have got three and three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Six, seven, eight, nine. Right. So we've got three who would go out for a drink. We've got three that would do Dutch. Three, six. Um, we've got one at the pictures, and then we've got two who are kind of like, no, they they wouldn't. Well, can I say listen. something? Sorry. Forgot yeah, to say something. Sorry Carry to interrupt on. you. But I think it depends on how you get on when you're talking either on WhatsApp, text, or phone. It, it depends on the vibe. You may not have a conversation and you don't feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. Then you'll do something like the movies. Or if you are getting on, then you do something different, wouldn't you? It depends on how you get on. I think it depends would. on the situation. Because the if you don't vibe on the phone or WhatsApp or whatever, anyone can say anything. And even like they were saying about profile pictures, people change their profile pictures like they say, filter, all the time. they put but all the time, and they're not the real people. And even we would have gone, they... but we've gone past the the, yeah. the fact of. No, I missed that bit. That's why. Yeah, yeah. So, so the scenario <laughs> is that you've done the the talking, um, on on you know you've been messaging, then you've gone to the WhatsApp, then you've gone to the the the, the yeah, video yeah. calling, so you see the person because this is the process of of after lockdown so what do you decide to do because at the end of the day we all are in control of ourselves yeah you've got to get to know the person don't you yeah and the person who is the the person who you've decided that you're going out just because somebody says i, I want to take you out for a meal doesn't mean to say that you have to agree you yeah, can true. give them another suggestion which could be let's go out for coffee yeah really yeah or, or or let's go and go for a walk in the park for an hour and just see how we get on because you see simmy and come and live with me is two different things yeah, when you actually you. meet somebody you that's when them. you know where the language or is there you know you can talk online forever and think this person's great let me tell you i met this man I was talking to this man and this man was showing me all this food because he liked cooking and he was like, oh, I cook this, and I cook this, and I cook this, and I cook this. And this was great, right? Anyway, so we decided to meet, and we got on really well, right, online. So we, I, I went, and I met him, and we met for a drink. And thank God, you know, because this is how I, do, how I do dating. I don't do dinner. I don't exactly. do... I don't do walk in the park. I'm meeting you for a coffee, a drink, a water. It doesn't have to, and it's in the daytime. It don't have to be at night. So anyway, I met this guy, and I travelled quite far actually. I said, no, 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 I'll come to you. I drive. I, I went, and the first thing is that on his profile he said that he was five nine, right, and. He was about five foot, right? Because Tony's face is like really <laughs> because I had on heels at this because I I'm I, I I was a heels girl, so I'm I know. heel, right? So I've got in my heel and I'm walking like duck, 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 duck. and this man gets out of his car and the man is shorter than me. I'm five foot. I am five foot. I'm five. I could be five foot between anything from five foot to five six, depending on what heels I've got on. And that day I had four inch heels on. So I just said to him, you know what? Hold on a minute. Let me just, I'm just going to pop back to my car. Right. So we hadn't even had no other form of conversation. I went back to the car and I put on my flats. I was like, I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm just not doing it to myself. So anyway, so we proceeded to go into, which was a Weatherspoons. And as he was talking, and it's something that I noticed that even online, when he was talking, he would always talk kind of like this. He wouldn't kind of open up his mouth, really. 
So what I know, what I noticed was, is that when the man started talking, I'm looking because I've got a thing. I'm looking in the man's mouth because the man's teeth, yeah, was a bit. They were a bit off. <laughs> As far as I could see. Now, at that time, I didn't wear glasses. I didn't. And the thing is, I've got good eyesight from afar. I see so well from afar. So, yeah, t- turn me your teeth down white and pretty. They're pretty teeth. This man's teeth was brown. And I said to him, I said to him, do you smoke? Because I wanted to tackle the question of his teeth. I said, do you smoke? And he said, oh, no, no, no. And he knew exactly why I asked him the question. He said, my teeth are stained because I like strong coffee. And I, I, I said, okay. So he said to me, do you want something to eat? I said, no, 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 no. No, I don't want anything to eat. No, um, do I want anything to do? I'd already ordered a drink. So I was having the drink and I was like, you know, in my head, in my head, I was like, sell. It's time to go. It's time to go. Yeah, obviously, that's what I'm saying. It's just because, you because you know, as much as we got on, and the thing is, as well, in conversation, man couldn't put two sentences together. But it's like he just, as Tony was saying before, you know, sometimes he, he meets someone and then they don't have no conversation. They react yeah, to himself. And so, you know, see me and come live with me is two different things. You have to meet somebody. So my thing is, this is what I advise people to do. Go for a drink, go for coffee, because you can get out of that really quickly if it's not working. Oh, te- um, you're on, Kelly. On. If, it, if it's not working, if it's not working, you can leave really quickly. Because like I say, when you meet somebody online, they can tell you anything. And, and when they're behind the camera, people can flow in conversation. When you meet them, they ain't got nothing to say. So they're very boring. So my advice to each and every one of us on this feed, apart from those who are married and those who are married, they're going to do their own thing anyway, is to date. Um, and, and at the end of this period, go um, on a date for a drink regardless of how well you think you get on with that person just go for a drink and then fill the person out right so you've got a task because you know what this is supposed to be a two hour thing we are now 18 minutes past one right <laughs> uh, but the thing is it's good to talk and we're, we're most of us are at home um, we're isolated and so this has been a really good talk we're all you know in the same boat we're we're trying to navigate ourselves through this and through single singleness. Um, so the task, the task is to go online, go on three sites, three, right? Three sites and find three people that you can hold a conversation. You are going to be on, there's no exchanging WhatsApps for the first three days, all right? Because I know that it would be hard for some of the, some of the guys, because Tony's already said he ain't, he ain't doing it forever, end of day. So three days, Cheryl's like, three days, <laughs> what? <laughs> good, good night, ladies and gents, I'm starting to snore. <laughs> good night. <laughs> good night, darling. We will be back here next Tuesday. Okay, next week. Good next night. Next Tuesday. Good night, sweetie. Right, guy. Hold on. What are you saying, Cheryl? I'm saying, bless you, but I'm not going on three dating sites. I'm sorry. Well, you don't have you don't have to go because I haven't finished. Uh, you don't have to go on a dating site, but what you do have to do is connect with somebody who's single. Okay. So you can use it by any means necessary. If you don't feel comfortable with a dating site then you connect with three different people and hold conversations. Find out about them and see where the land lies. Right? Uh, Yep. Does that make it more comfortable for everybody? So it doesn't have to be a dating site, but you do have to reach out 
to three different people, three, and have a conversation in that direction to, to, to kind of have a, you know, see what I've won, basically. Because at the end of the day, who wants to remain single? Who wants to remain single on here? Patrick, you don't need to answer this one because you're already taken. Right? So who wants to remain single on here? I don't think any one of us do. All right? So that means that we have to come out of the place of comfort and we have to go into the place of stretch. So now it's about us stretching ourselves and really moving forward for what we want and set the intention of what you want and do it today and we've got we've got next week next week um we will be here again at 10 until till midnight or you know later whatever is whatever it is whatever the time is i'm happy to facilitate the chat because you know we're not at work so we can do this and hopefully by the end of this lockdown we would have met somebody uh, at least connected with somebody. Yeah. Or, that... or Yvonne, Yvonne. Yes, darling. You and I have talked about this before, actually. So mm -hmm. while we've got all these people on here, mm -hmm. what about? <laughs> Perry, what what are you about... Say? Yeah. Remember, I said to you before, why don't we? Yes. Get ten, yes. Women, ten men. So uh -huh. go bring your single friends and go away for a weekend somewhere. Uh -huh. and just have some fun times together and what happens happens so if that you meet would... someone you meet someone if you don't you at least hopefully you've met a friend but it... it's a much for me that's a much more comfortable environment it would work but we're in lockdown and we're going to be in lockdown for a while we're not going to be able to travel yes. it could be something that we could be thinking about for the future. yes and, and it's definitely something that we could do yeah. But what we could do also, we could do something online, as you said that, Cheryl. Um, if we have two single friends each mm. and we decide that we're going to have a dinner, mm. listen, hear me out, where you cook your own dinner, we meet at a certain time where we just sit down and we have a conversation, a big conversation, and just interact with each other mm. i don't know how that would work online i would have to do some investigations but that could be something that we could start to do to in online dating as as in a different type of dating mm. there's options we kellyon likes it we, we've got options we, all we have to do is think out of the box mm. and out of that place of comfort we need to go into that place of stretch and just stretch ourselves just a little bit more. I know that I would like to be in a relationship because this whole thing came from me thinking, what if this is it? What if the government and the powers that be turn around and say, this is how we have to live forever. And so we've got all this social distancing, Chair on your face is like, no, nah, lad, right? <laughs> social distancing, we, we, we can't go out and meet anybody. I was just like, the thought of not being able to, to be in the same space as a man, to converse, to hold him, to hug him, to touch him, to, to, to kiss, to, to, you know, to make love, to all of those things. I was just like, no, I'm not having that. I'd have to rebel. I'd, I'd probably get arrested or something like that because I'd be like, <laughs> go about my business, you know what I mean? Out on my car late at night and they'd be asking me where you're going and I'd have to make up lies. And all so, kinds Yvonne, of you're, you're, it's fair to say that you're a little bit thirsty. No, I'm not thirsty. <laughs> no, that's not saying I'm thirsty. What it's saying is, is that I have thought about the process and thought, actually, that's not where I want to be. And I don't want anybody to tell me that I can't be in a relationship if I want to. So that's, you know, I'm not, I'm not thirsty for that, but I'm, I don't want to be single for the rest of my life. That's for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. You know, life is too short to, to just be on your own. And don't get me wrong, I am happily single, but I don't see me spending the rest of my life like this. Mm. I, I, I wouldn't want that. My children are grown. Do you know what I mean? That's why I can be on, on this thing to 25 minutes past one and no one don't say, Mum. <laughs> the only thing they say is good night. <laughs> Good night. 
do you see what I'm saying so I want us to really be open be honest and be you know accepting of what may come and really put it out there just try and what by any means necessary find three people that you can have a conversation and begin to learn about and maybe it, it can progress into a relationship once we come out of lockdown are we up for that guys Ooh, yeah Kellyon's gone. but yeah. i know kelly on's up for it as well all right so we'll be back here uh next week at right. 10 o'clock for conversations after dark uh, you know what do you want the topic to be next week mm, you have to think about that you can have any topic you want i think on that one yeah any topic That's you something. want we'll we'll talk about can i just add you know that super moon right yeah. We'll be able to see it at 2.35. Oh, that's not long from now. I won't be yeah. sleeping. I'm right. going to charge up my Moldavite. Oh, yeah. I did it last night. The moon was lovely. Charge up your what? Moldavite. My Moldavite. What's that? It's an intention stone. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, well, it, it brings in rays. It has nice. energy. My back garden, or is it? I've got to get some special shop. <laughs> no, no, I just you... put it on the window ledge because the where my bedroom is, the moon is on that side. Okay. So yeah, where are you getting all these backgrounds from, Tony? You can on Zoom. You can have it. Yeah, really? You can, yeah, you can do it on Zoom. Yeah. Oh, I'll have to try that next time. Yeah, but guess what, guys? I'm what? getting a piece of kit. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Uh, I'm hoping that I'll be able to learn how to use it really quickly. I've got somebody training me and it's going to amalgamize everything. So I'll only have to click one button. I won't have to be doing all this. I've got to get this site and that site and this site together. And we can, I can live stream uh, via Facebook and um, YouTube at the same time okay. and create a show. So that's the intention is to create a show. And don't forget on Friday at four o'clock, we're going live with Lyndon. He's going to be doing some cooking and we're going to be doing that every week. It will be on a Wednesday. It, it, we're piloting on Friday, but every week we're going to have different um, people who cook and they're going to show and teach and just show us how to cook um, financially. That's financially viable for us all now. So you know, how to cook a meal for a family of four for like, I don't know, 15 pounds, whatever it's going to be. So, um, yeah, so Lyndon, Lyndon is going to be cooking some food. He's the inspired diabetic. So he's going to be looking at healthy food. And then I think, and then Wednesday he'll cook again. And then the following Wednesday, we're going to have Dr. Chesney. Um, she's going to be cooking some South African food mm. and using some, some spices from South Africa. And then the following week, we've got Arv Krishnal and he's going to be doing some vegetarian uh, with, a, with a hint of Asian cooking as well. So, so if you are a chef or you like to cook, I will be able to house you on this network. And yeah, just let the people them oh. and eat and be happy. But for now, guys, I'm going to bid you good night. Good I want night. to thank you for this. It's been great. It's been and it mark must be tired and dry. Good morning. And now I've had my drink. I just finished it. Thank you. <laughs> Look, I've got Mom. this whole drink. Thank you, guys. I'll see you next week. Don't forget, I'm here Monday as well. Every Monday, eight till ten. Every Tuesday, ten till twelve, and it will be every Wednesday, four till six uh, or something like that. All right. Nice one. All right, guys. Take care. <laughs> Good morning. Take care. Take care. Good morning. Thank you. Yeah, good morning. Bye, guys. Be safe, guys. Ciao. Good morning. Good evening, Ivel. Peace and love. See you, my darling. Ivel, so good to see you, girl. Hold on. Hold on. Let me unmute you. This was really wonderful. It's so good. To... Listen, you have to tell your friends. Come and join us. Come and join us. It'll be good to see you guys, man. How, how are things for you, though? How are things for you? Well, uh, this is going into the second week in lockdown, where we practically can't go, but thankfully we can go out in the parameters of our own um, home or yard space. Mm -hmm. 
So it's been good. Mm-hmm. It's been good. I've been getting up, working out. Me and Dee went for a walk before all the lockdown. Mm-hmm. So that was really good. And yeah, just getting up, exercising, going and do my prayers, intentions in the mornings, coming in, mm-hmm. cook, clean, do school work, just trying to keep myself busy and occupied. Yeah, it's the same as this is Car- this is Lorraine. Lorraine, this is uh, and Lorraine is a fellow Beijing Beijing. Yay! Yeah. I, I'm I'm Guyanese Beijing, so she's she's Beijing. I'm, I'm I'm Jamaican Beijing British. <laughs> she mixed up. Okay, well, I'm only, uh, I'm only Guyanese Beijing. Okay, well, I'm Jamaican. I, I think so. I'll, I'll get my cousin to come on if she can, because she's she's in, where is she? She's in St. Michael. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. she's single. Yeah, just, and just, I'll get, yeah. I'll get. I'll invite her. Yeah, yeah, just invite some people, come on and just chat and just, you know, the, the fellowship. It's It's just nice to be able to just talk. I mean, this, we should have finished like an hour and a half ago. Yeah, but do we ever finish <laughs> an hour and a half? It's, 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 it's you know, it's, it's meeting the needs of the people at the end of the day. We're chatting, we're having a good laugh. You know, part of me is like, no, cut it, and then we'll start again. But then it's a whole week. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. it's a whole week. It's been good because it's not every day. It's not all day, in the day that you... You're frozen, Lorraine. Um, I'm thinking of a topic like how I've heard many guys say that um, from meeting a woman they know either immediately if that woman is the woman for them mm-hmm. or at least they know one to three months in mm-hmm. I don't know so you want to know hold on guys on Facebook we are gone I'm just going to come out of Facebook. Thank you for listening and we'll be back next week.